Hello and welcome to Game Overcast. On this episode, we talk about movies again. You're turning Persona 5 into what? An Earthworm Jim. They're gonna make another game. Earthworm Yay. Jim, but the thing it's on is lame. <laughs> <laughs> All this and more coming right now on Game Overcast. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm quite proud of my singings, my 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 songs, my my um, lyric crafting. That actually wasn't half bad. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm Thank you. Give it to you. You don't want to know how long I practiced. No. That. <laughs> <laughs> it becomes epically less cool <laughs> when you realize I was all day like. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god. We think he's mighty fine. Earthworm. I love that song. Sorry, it's a good song. I'm just saying, if you don't like Earthworm Jim, we're gonna have we're gonna have problems. It's just the way it goes. But hello, welcome to Game Over Cows. Uh, Greetings. Ca- Game Over Cows. Game Over Cows. Mm! <laughs> right. No. Yummy. Yummy. I mean, wait. Wow, no. all the yummy cows. So, no, that's so terrible. Real quick, Matt Britt. Hi. So hi. Britt allegedly has sworn off bacon because yeah. the piggies are cute. I She's mean, not going to be vegetarian. She just know, doesn't want to eat the cute things. I think that's, <laughs> that's a terrible. True. That's a terrible you bias. You are putting words that's in my mouth. That's a terrible bias. You only eat no. the ugly animals. It's just, no, that is not true. Like crocodiles. It's just, and sea otters. What? I would never eat a crocodile. What? Why not? Ugh. I heard they're quite good. It just creeps me out. Okay, that is not true. That is that is not true. First of all, also I don't. I know that you're going to be upset at me, but I don't really care for bacon. Not really. Like I could live. Is there anything more un-American I'm short so of sorry. being a Nazi? You know what's fantastic? Than not liking bacon, macaroni and cheese. I mean, that, that's that's it's neither amazing. here nor there. I mean, personally, I believe that's an abomination. That's going to get me in a lot of trouble right what? there. But macaroni but look, and cheese look, is the best. If like, you had to choose, <sighs> listeners, viewers, if you had to choose between either bacon mac and or mac and cheese for the rest of your life, mac. Oh it my would God. obviously be bacon. Hands down, obviously mac and cheese. Bacon. Absolutely. Like with no, I mean, I would say with no added health ill effects. They're both terrible for you, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, you know, <laughs> right. real mac and cheese with like all the butter oh, in it and yes, everything. And yeah. So good. And usually bacon for that matter. Yeah. Just saying. Or whatever. But yeah. No, but really, I just, I don't know. I think that's something that I developed lately within the past few that's years. That's because I showed you I that just... picture of a cute little piggy in boots and you cried. Oh my God. Well, it was really cute. But you know, cows, you. cows are cute too. They yes, really they are. are. They're precious. And delicious. Uh, burgers are yummy. I'm just saying. I, I, I can't, I can't not say that burgers are I like how this has become, become. Because become I feel, I feel bad they are. Veggie and meat cast. They're t- <laughs> Look, look. They are tasty, but they are cute. I don't know. I just, I can live without Piggies bacon. are extra cute. What about, and what about like mac pork, and cheese pork chops best. and ham and pork sausage? I think I could. You could not live without sausage. You know, over, okay. Gosh. <laughs> you got me there because you know that I really love sausage. Yes. But I actually, meat as a whole, like, yes, it tastes good because, you know, I mean, hey, I'm, I'm a little chubby. Come on. I love food. Let's just, let's, mm. I'm, I'm a foodie. I'd say I'm a foodie. Um, and I, I like to try I like how different. Foodie is just like a polite term for I'm fat. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. You're just most foodies are not skinny. I've never seen an anorexic foodie. Right, Guy Fieri. We're looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flavor yeah. Town is a heavy place. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's about you know. They shop at big and large. Having a good time, not being here a long time. Just saying. I'll do both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just kidding. I want to live forever. That's actually my dream. Forever's pushing it, but <laughs> a, a, a long time. Centuries? Yes. Like, I wouldn't mind Maybe. doing, like, the altered carbon thing where my brain is downloaded into Dude. a disc in the back of my neck. Yes. And I could transfer bodies. That would be awesome. Yeah. And then you could transfer into whatever body you wanted. Yeah. But... but. I mean, why wouldn't you want to keep your body? I guess. You want to try something different after a couple yeah, hundred maybe, years. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's true. Yeah. You know, or you could, or you could be yourself, and then occasionally, like on Friday, you could be Bertha. Maybe one day I want to be a rushing dancing girl. I mean, just that to try would it be out. that would be cool. Because I certainly got no moves in this body. I'm good. <laughs> that's true. That would be cool. <laughs> Thankfully, I have a lovely singing cool. voice. <laughs> oh dear. Mm. But yes. Anyway, no. But yeah. No. Even though I, I, I do love uh, meals. <laughs> I, just love I was going to say just meals. No, just like, food. you know, food in general. Food. Like a trying, I love to try new things, hmm. really, um, is what it boils like, down to. Like, and like crocodile. who doesn't like food? Food is delicious, except for that, because that scares me. But 
really, but like spiders wouldn't scare I you. I mean, you like those it? little like chocolate coated insects. Oh Lord, no! You I would like to try new mm, things. No, you like not to try new that, things. Don't no. be a hypocrite. You try it. Ugh, you try no. it at least once. Ugh, oh my goodness! Ugh, ugh, ugh. Who wants to eat a bug? A that's lot of people. Are. They're fun. very good for you. That's actually. not appetizing. Just a lot of people think. Personally, I don't think eating a bush is very appetizing most of the time either. It's like. Man. Salad is delicious. I do enjoy me a salad, but sometimes yes. depending on the salad, like kale, it's like look at these leaves. It's just like I mean, if, I'm just eating a tree. If the salad is made correctly, so like covered in bacon know. and no, <laughs> no. You see, it all comes back to bacon, guys. Okay, it's just it's this circle of bacon. <laughs> oh my god! Just a ring of bacon around the planet, just being boiled by the sun for all time. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Anyway, food is great, yep. but mac and cheese beats everything. So, okay. so, so I had an idea. I thought this time he agrees. on I Game win. Overcast, being that it's episode forty-seven, yes. we would talk about video games. No. Yeah. Screw Wait. that mess. <laughs> Wait. Is this a video game show? I think. Is it? I mean, the camera is <laughs> zoomed down, so you can't see the big video game or video game sign. But there are video Dave game posters like, behind right us. Right now, he's like, "I'm gonna he's, fire he's, him." He's sitting there just shaking his head, like it gets worse every show. <laughs> and you're right. <laughs> it's too fun, though. See nothing I yet. mean, how could we not? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll we'll get into this. So this show, every show, are the structure. I'm saying that with the loosest term possible. Structure of our show is usually we'll do some now playing and some news and some mm-hmm. questions, mm-hmm. Um, and then we will move on to a discussion topic of some kind. This time, we don't have one of those um, because we're going to attempt to keep the show under an hour. And we have, <laughs> and we will do that maybe because there's a lot okay. of news to talk about. Yeah, but there was just so much we found ourselves like going back and forth like, yeah. hey, what should we do? What should we do? Like, we should have a theme. We should have a theme. And then we just found ourselves going back and forth talking mm-hmm. about just random stuff. And, and I was I've like, hey. Quasi turned the question of the show into what the topic was going to be. We might end up yeah. getting to that topic either the next show or a later show, but just just kind of to kind of whet your appetites a little bit. <laughs> but there are a lot of things. There aren't as many news stories there has been in the past, but there's yes. a couple that are definitely talk worthy. And yeah. the show itself is going to come out about a day late because I knew there were going to be some things happening on mm-hmm. May 1st when the show usually goes live. So I wanted mm-hmm. to talk about it because it happened today yes. or yesterday in the case of some movie trailer, <laughs> yes. which we'll get to here in a minute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my good. Okay. We will start things off with some now playing because, because mm-hmm. fine ladies and gentlemen and robots of all kinds and ages, I actually had time to play a few games. Yay. I was so Good happy. For you. Oh my God. It was great. <laughs> uh, I finally got back from being out of town and moving and unpacking, mm-hmm. and I had a couple of days there where I was like, hey, I don't have to do something all day. Mm-hmm. Great. So I went and I played a couple hours of uh, Sekiro uh, Shadows Die Twice, or in Matt's case, Shadows Die Every 10 Seconds. <laughs> Damn. But you're really into that right now. You know, I was into it, and I feel like I just kind of like fell off a cliff and burned out really fast. Really? And I think I know why. It's not the game's fault. The game's phenomenal. It's not, to me, it's not nearly as pretty as Bloodborne and Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. And it's not even just the art style. Like, the art style is really nice. It just, uh, maybe it's just me. And I'm playing it on my computer with everything cranked to the absolute maximum because I have this absurd graphics card that I don't need, but people got it for me because they're awesome for Christmas. Um (laughs) Uh, everyone has their uses. Wow. But <laughs> Wow. I'm still looking for mine. Wow. <laughs> you see, you turn that around into, into <laughs> self-deprecation. <laughs> really good at that. That is my use. Aha. Cool. But so it doesn't have that same level of visual polish. Maybe that's just me. Maybe just because mm-hmm. it's a crappy port on the PC. I don't know. Um, but the gameplay is solid. I, I do enjoy the gameplay a bit more than... Um, the other souls games where you don't have a stamina bar you have this poise meter Mm -hmm. and the point of when you fight larger enemies or just more powerful enemies is you want to while you want to hit them the big goal is to kind of break their poise and more or less kind of like knock them away where you can go for what's called a death blow and like ram your sword down their throat and twist it kind of thing and big enemies have several of those death blows you have to hit them with in order Mm -hmm. to kill them and the whole point of the game is kind of figuring out what works best for each enemy so it's still very soulsy where enemy every enemy has a quick Easy way, not quick easy, but there's a certain way to kill them, short of just like poking them and running away for hours, which is what I, I do a lot of the time. But I'm not sure what it is. I mean, I don't find myself being super interested in the story, which is weird because the story seems really cool. I really think what it is is I just, I really like playing those games with somebody else. 
And it's not because of the difficulty, because yeah, it's super hard, and yeah, that drives me crazy, but I still get through it. But you didn't play Bloodborne with anybody else, no. and you like that enough. I didn't finish Bloodborne either, though, because of that. Like, it's True. beautiful, but... Uh, but Dark Souls, mm. I mean, I don't... I played the crap out of Dark Souls with a couple people. With, really? Specifically with, with me being Corwin, yeah. Because I was going to say, I don't specifically remember you playing with anybody, but maybe... Yeah, I maybe. almost never played that game alone. I see. Um, it's just so much more fun getting completely obliterated Mm -hmm. with someone else to laugh about it. (laughs) Yeah. I I wouldn't even mind if when someone came in, there would be a scale where the difficulty went up even higher. I just like the idea of doing that with two people. It was so much fun, and it kind of made that game special. Mm -hmm. And without that, I find myself, you know, I played where where I don't don't know where I am in the story. I mean, I know I'm playing it, like, completely bass backwards, where I went as far as I could go until I died and realized I hadn't picked up any of the... Um, well, not picked up. I haven't activated any of the Shinobi prosthetics. You know, you have the, the like the wooden prosthetic arm in this game where all your gadgets come from. I didn't have any of those because I hadn't died yet. So I got, I think, to the... No, where was it? I got pretty far because I fought like some, some bossy character. Because um, I killed the ogre dude, and he was really, really hard. I think I was supposed to die there, but then I got to the next area and someone else killed me while I was being shot or whatever. Mm. And then I got back. I'm like, oh, there's all this other stuff I hadn't done yet. And then I went to like a teleported to a different area and killed this alcoholic dude. And um, I feel like I'm doing it very much out of order because I'm in a place now where I'm fighting like ghosty versions of all the bosses I fought up until this point. This weird headless monster, which is absolutely terrifying. That By the really way, cool. it's headless and just like. Ugh! Which is weird because it has no mouth. Um, and it teleports <laughs> behind you and shoves its hand in your butt. Oh, yeah. At least, yeah, did you see That's that? That's like a, a common yokai yeah. thing, right? Very horrifying. Very I unpleasant. I mean, like, not all the yokai do that. I'm just saying, like, a They're specific. They're all proctologists. <laughs> every single one of them. Just evil, <laughs> undead proctologists. That's like a type of yokai thing. It made me very uncomfortable. Just the sound, sound design was on point there. It was not nice. <laughs> like, you did not want to get by the attack. It made you just go, mm, mm. <laughs> But I had to fight them again so i fought the alcoholic dude again with that like he like this big dude like sprayed poison on his sword and i fought that guy and then i fought the ghost of some like some evil possessed monk and that's mm-hmm. about as far as i've gotten mm-hmm. and i feel like i'm playing it kind of out of order and then i just haven't picked it up again for a couple of days mm-hmm. i just kind of wish i could play it with somebody else and i was having that feeling it does sound vibe. cool though yeah like it's awesome it's super awesome i just want me some co-op i want me some co-op ninja fun <laughs> This is not a ninja. This is just me going like, 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 I'm, like a t- I'm a, I'm a, I'm little, a dinosaur. You're a T-Rex. <laughs> and you have tiny little arms and yes. little hands. Yes. It's <laughs> 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 a great movie, that. Yeah. Meet the Robinsons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How about you, Britt? What have you been up to? Um, Nothing really. Okay. I know it's terrible. Man, the fail boat continues I know, for you, huh? Seriously, but I haven't really had time to play anything. I played a little bit of Transformers, mm-hmm. um, and that was the devastation when we talked. Yeah, about? Yeah, devastation. Nice. I, I went back and I was like, man, I really feel like playing that. So I played a little bit of that, and that was cool. Um, but basically, I'm kind of behind on a lot of stuff, so I'm trying to just play catch up. What game is that? Uh, when, <laughs> uh, when it comes to like art and stuff, and mm-hmm. then I'm trying to get this wisdom teeth thing situated, which is driving me crazy, and I just want to driving me crazy. I want to jump off a bridge, about it. basically. Uh, I didn't like the another fun story. Uh, uh, someone had a uh, appointment this morning. Yeah, and I had to go to drag her into the office. I mean, it's not my fault. I thought I was gonna die. Uh, the crazy thing is that they just didn't for a even. Consultation here, I know guys. they didn't even do anything. I knew they weren't going to do anything, but I just when you have a phobia, mm-hmm. you can't help it. Like my hands were sweating. I felt like I could breathe, and like my heart was going to explode. Mm-hmm. It was awful. I have no idea because I know I'm in a lot of pain, unfortunately. So I know that it has to get done, but I don't know how I'm going to approach that. I have already seen three different wisdom tooth doctors. <laughs> I know. But this last <laughs> one, I actually really like this last oral surgeon. He did seem really nice. He was really nice, and his staff made me feel comfortable. Mm. And I, I felt like the la- I kind of felt like the last we one. We were giving her free candy, that's why. That is not true. No candy was offered. Um, but I felt I kind of felt like the last one belittled me a little bit, and I was like a little upset about that. Well, you that. are kind of tiny. And I was, oh God, shush. <laughs> and I was a little upset about that. And that's not what you do to people that are, you know, that have a phobia, that are scared. That's really not mm-hmm. the answer. Uh, so this new one, though, he was he was really nice. Oh, and good. he was like, we're going to take care of you. It's okay. And so I felt comfortable, but I don't know. It's still horrifying. And see, I, <laughs> I'm on the other side of this coin where I don't get 
I don't get the phobia thing and how it uh. slows you. Because me, like looking back to when I got when I had kidney stones mm-hmm. about a year ago now. Yeah. Um, I was like, no, it hurts. Make it stop hurting. I don't care what you got to do. Take off a leg. Do what you got to do. And Just that, do it now. I wish that I was like that. That's insane. And I've talked about on the show before. Um, if you've had if you if you've had kidney stones or known someone, usually like your dad in some cases that's yeah. had one, you know what it's like. Um, I for a while had a stint, and I won't tell you what that is. But if you know what it is, you understand. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you don't, and you want to look it up, that's fine. Just be careful. It is a, it's a surgical thing, and it's made to help stones pass. It's easier. horrifying. It's horrifying, especially Absolutely. from a a male perspective and we'll yeah. leave it at that yes um but i was still like if it's gonna help because i want to die just do it i'll close my eyes and get it done um, and, and that is so crazy like i wish i had that and i feel like i'm kind of almost approaching that uh because i've been in i've been sore and my my right side has been swollen for about two weeks mm-hmm. so the crazy thing is i had a checkup with my uh regular doctor and i haven't been eating because you know it's been i've been in so much mm-hmm. pain and so i'll eat very very little or pudding or or pudding or something you know and then i'll you know i can't eat a lot so i just set it aside and i've lost my appetite i lost like 10 pounds and which is like you're so proud of that (laughs) it's great and then it's like not so great because i know that it's strictly because which is so not healthy please don't do that there's the answer kids to lose weight fast remember don't eat your lunch at school no absolutely not and i know that it is like the unhealthiest thing to do but i just haven't been able to because i haven't been able to chew do not starve yourself to lose weight Yeah, please don't it is not that important you look just fine be more active don't starve yourself please mind you this coming from two chubby people yes (laughs) i mean but it's true you know um it's it's just like yeah, starving yourself is not healthy. It is not the answer. Uh, Absolutely but let's not. let's do this, Brent. No, that was a um, yeah. Let's do this. So I so, mean, it's not like I did that intentionally. I know. I know. <laughs> you're just you know you're making it sound like it, it is, but no. Never mind. <laughs> Leave it. Um, how about how about this then, people? Help help me out here. <laughs> so so people listening, watching, why don't you uh, uh, send us some emails? If well, if yes. you do, while you do, let us know how, how you feel about this kind of thing. Have you ever had to go to the dentist and been Please. absolutely terrified? What Are is you more your phobia? Yeah. And if you have any encouraging words, I would love them she'll now. Take them. <laughs> I will take she'll them. Take them. You know what's yeah. funny? I and I'm not going to be able to make my appointment f- for like another month or so. Yep. Um, so you got time, but to get it them is in. going to weigh on the brain. Like, trust me, I am you a weirdo. Have no but idea. Also, let me put this into perspective. That is that is the crazy thing about a phobia. And I think that's the difference between a fear and a phobia yeah. is that I have been in so much pain. I haven't been able to eat. I, I can't shut my mouth all the way. Well, now I can, mm-hmm. but I couldn't. Um, and I was still terrified to go. And mm-hmm. I was still like, no, I don't want to do it. And after all of that, it's still, you know and what I mean. I just, I it's guess maybe crazy. I don't have any actual phobias because there's a couple things I'm yeah. like afraid of, and I have this, I have this, this, this irrational. It's not a fear; it's a disgust for people that don't like robots. <laughs> like I just see them and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I, and I'm just compelled to punch them, and be like Gundam. I but, mean, at the end of the day, jumping off a bridge seemed like the better <laughs> option, and that's how you know, folks, you have a phobia. Indeed. <laughs> I mean, if just if you're if you're content to be in pain and not fix the pain, there's something wrong. Yeah, yeah. But but you're gonna get it fixed. Uh, it's gonna be okay. I guess. And I get to be there to laugh. I support you, all the way. Uh, a terrible human being. You're don't, there to laugh at me when I oh I'm wake gonna up film it and I'll put and... it on. If you want to see Britney's drug induced <laughs> stupor, comment on the video oh, or no. on the uh, or send us an email, oh, please. No. Because it'll be the best. You're stealing me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, there have been some I funny am videos. So yeah. excited. Anyways, <laughs> we back to video games. So I I yes. played a few more things. Mm-hmm. Um, new apartment. I have a little bit more room. I finally hooked up my VR again. My Oculus. That's right. And you got another sensor. Yes, I did. That's cool. I have three sensors now. So I have two in the front and one in the behind. Behind <laughs> behind me. I see. I should specify there. This isn't Sekiro. One in the behind. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing hey, tracking. You do you. you, do you <laughs> swoosh, <bro>. swoosh. <laughs> Call it my tail scanner. Um, but I've hooked that up, and I, I'm catching up on some old VR games. Like I finally mm-hmm. picked up uh, Super Hot, which, if you haven't played, it's fun and not VR. It's really fun in VR. I tried to explain this to you, Britt, mm-hmm. where you warp into an area and it's like every action movie scene in little bike si- bite-sized chunks. Mm-hmm. And unless you're moving, everything moves like matrix slow. 
And then when you move, things kind of speed up. So you can look around, and unless you're moving your, your hands in the VR version, uh, things go super slowly. So you can kind of look around and then grab a gun and then go like, and like dodge the side and shoot the gun. And if you want to ammo, you just like, like throw the gun at people and you can grab gun. It, it's it's hilarious. <laughs> I can just imagine you playing this game and I'm just laughing so hard on the inside right now. There was a level where <laughs> there was like a crate you could hide behind and people were shooting at me from all angles so I ended up being like further and further crouched down and I was so in the moment there was a moment where one of my gun gun hands clicked across the ground and I'm on the ground like Spider-Man and I don't flex that well y'all <laughs> and it occurred to me how did I get in this position how have I not fallen over and how am I going to stand up again and you're like what am I doing because the cables are like wrapped around my neck I'm probably turning blue I mean thank, thank god no one sees this because I'm just like Ugh. and you know, I played a couple other games and they're all just you have to look like the, just the dumbest person in the world when you're playing VR. I can't only really imagine like how I look normally, but man, it's fun. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Okay, can I tell this story though? Because it's my favorite. It happened recently, and it's my favorite story. So, you were playing VR. Oh no! And this like, is... didn't know I was there because like here I come, you know, <laughs> and then. <laughs> I'm standing there in the living room just watching you like twirl and stuff like a ninja. And then I just Big, decide it would be really ninja. funny to touch him. <laughs> yep, I remember this one. Because you didn't know I was there. And yeah, that was hilarious. I just kind of collapsed probably, into a heap. Is that the yeah, one you're talking about? We're yes. just like, oh, jeez. I feel like you jumped 20 feet in the air and then you were like, just kind of puddled. down on the ground and you were like, I just have to catch my breath. <laughs> Because you thought maybe something hit you in real life. It, that that third scanner, man, like it really adds to the immersion. Because occasionally with the two scanners, if you move your hand behind you, it loses mm -hmm. you and it kind of like takes you out. But with yeah. the full immersion, I'm just in it. Because I got the I've got those nice like Sennheiser headphones. Yeah. I have the really good surround, and I'm just there, man. <laughs> and then you know you just jarred me out of it, makes like, so the world is like broke and shattered. I'm like oh god. <laughs> Thankfully, I wasn't playing a horror game. I may have turned him backhanded. You I know. know. <laughs> Seriously. I was like, okay. I, I did think about that. I thought this could end one of two ways. I could scare him and it would be freaking hilarious. Or he could turn around and punch me in the face. Which would be freaking hilarious. Which might be hilarious because it, it was my fault. That but... reminds me of a story. I and since you. this is the Not That Video Game episode, I'll go ahead and share this story really quick. I think you know what story but it is. But it is a video game. We're talking it, about video games. It's not about you. You're not in this story. Do you know the story I'm talking about? <laughs> no. It's the strobe light story. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I love this story. This is a great story. Cool story here. And this is why I say this because there's a precedent for me punching people when they scare me. <laughs> yes. Um, when I was just a little Matt, I mean, I was never really little, was I? I was always a tall, like, fat kid. But <laughs> um, when I was a younger Matt, much younger, like seven or eight or uh -huh. something like that, um, I lived at home with my parents and my big sister, um, demonic creature that she was. Most children of seven or eight do. You're right. Yes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> as opposed to the other kid who lived, you know, in Jersey as a stockbroker. <laughs> A very dull life, and they're like, you know, with family and house, Southern California, garden, and <laughs> bees everywhere. I don't mm -hmm. know why bees the first. Anyways, so so it's like the evening time, and I'm in my room, and my sister's room was like next to mine. So I just hear you, Matt, can you come here for a second, please? Blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever. I'm like, okay, just this cute, innocent, happy Matt. You know, you could, all of it's gone now, right? He's but the <laughs> back, you know, when I had like the sparkle in my eyes, just doo -doo 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 -doo, like walking next oh, door, no. holding a transformer, probably oh, just no. like, la, 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 la. Just flowers everywhere. I walk into the room and they're like, What's up? And she's like, Close the door. I said, Okay, so I close the door. And then the lights turn off. <laughs> okay. And then this this strobe light that she got at like Spencer, like right yeah. when they opened or whatever, you know, 20 years ago kind of thing. <laughs> um, man, I'm old. <laughs> the strobe light happens. And then I just see this like huddled, demonic, monstrous, red eyed, demon goblin which is really just my sister crouched oh, in the corner mm -hmm. i have no reactive imagination have i shared this with yes. you yet have you figured this out yet? absolutely so this this thing this this hell beast straight out of like <laughs> the realm of chaos starts to like trundle toward me like <laughs> like just you know, oh my this whole, God. so so my my young brain thinks demon <laughs> and without really reacting i just go pow oh <laughs> and just clocker one right in the jaw <laughs> Oh, and man. she just goes Pfft. I love this story and then of course she screams for mom and I get I was gonna say okay so I cannot remember this part of the story who got in trouble me what? of course me yeah kitchen things say Matt you punched me for no reason I'm like <laughs> oh man so I just kind of like best. staggered off to my room just like okay cool don't hit girls <laughs> <laughs> self 
defense. It was uh, a monster. It was Freddy Krueger and Satan all rolled into one. <laughs> I had to protect my robots. But yeah, oh, oh, sorry. Man. We will move on. So that's all for now playing. Although, we will move into yes. our, our now official movie discussion yes. chunk. Now official. I say official with to. mass quotation. So, I know. Um, we always do it. Did go see Shazam. Yes. And you were there. So yes. that was good. It was so good. I enjoyed it so much. I was pleased that it did not suck. I, I don't think I liked it surprised. as much as you, but I still thought yeah. it was good. I'm shocked I loved oh, it as much yeah, as I did. I thought it was pretty good. And also, they're digging real deep into that DC villain hole. Yeah. With that caterpillar. Cool, oh, my oh God. He God. was so cute. He was like, hello. Look at my little... I would help you rule the world. My little hands. And I'm tiny. And I'm evil. I am evil. very glad precious. they didn't. They, they did break it into two films. Because originally, it was supposed to be have The Rock in it. Also, as Black Adam. Really? Yeah, but they split it into two. So, the sequel will have The Rock in it. Oh, that's cool. Which is nice. I think it's best done that way. Yep. You know, tell your story and then mm -hmm. in, in parts is always a good idea because you don't ever want to cram too much into one. It'll take away. Yeah. It'll take away from someone. I was also quite surprised. Spoilers here, by the way. Yes. Very big spoilers. So just <laughs> for the next for like forever, for the next so. like minute, you might want to not want to listen that they uh, they brought in the Marvel family already. Yeah. Like, you know, they, the characters were there. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, there's Mary and there's Ian. But, but no, they bam, end of the yeah. movie. Everyone's got the suits on. Like, whoa, that's I, cool. I, yeah. And I, I figured that was going to happen. Like, Part ways into mm -hmm. the movie when, yeah, especially when they're talking about his lair, yeah, and they're talking to that real estate <laughs> yeah. agent, and he says, uh, um, they need a place for seven. Mm -hmm. I was like, I see where this is going, yeah. So I was quite happy and surprised they put that on. That mm -hmm. was cool, yeah, that was actually really good. It was good, it was a good time. All the elements were there, it was funny. Um, the acting was awesome, and like props to the older actors because I think they did a really good yeah. job of seeming like they were older versions mm -hmm. except you know mentally yeah. they weren't but you know. once again like most of the movies the CG in some there cases was kids. pretty bad I think unfortunately I don't think it was that bad that part towards the end where they're all fighting the different uh, Seven Deadly Sins it looked pretty you could tell that someone was just kind of going like this in the background <laughs> it wasn't so good but it, it's that type of movie that it doesn't to me anyway it doesn't really matter I mean this is both the <sighs> Because we've had the CG discussion so many times. And we will so, have it again. Yeah, so you guys know. But I feel like this is one of those those rare times when it's like it's you just want to have a good time. And mm -hmm. the storytelling is really good. It's and nice. the characters are really good. So it's fun. And you're just engrossed in the story. And so it's okay. Mm -hmm. Like for me... I. For once, I know, because I'm I'm kind of a snob when it comes to CG and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, of course, who doesn't love practical effects? Whoever loves movies, they love practical effects. Do not let them lie to you. And <laughs> it's true. It's just better. And yeah. it looks better years down the road. Which Absolutely. Which we, we will talk about here in a second. Yes. because I mean, again, I, I've said it a, a million times. I'll say it again. Mm -hmm. Labyrinth. What, That's the one been, you go to? I, yes, because it looks phenomenal. It's a the bunch puppets, of Muppets. Of course it looks yes, awesome. Yes, the puppets look amazing. And what is that, 30, 35 years? Did it just celebrate 35? Did, no. I think so. No. no. It came it out came in 85. 85. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so it'll almost, be 33 years then. Yeah, almost 35 years. That's how old I am. But, yes. <laughs> but it looks fantastic. The Dark Crystal looks amazing. Terrible. Shame it's not that good of you a movie. You can't but. say the same thing for Pacific. Shut your mouth. You can't say the same thing for Pacific Rim. Del Toro, I love you. But, oh God. So much. You can't say the same and thing for uh, for Crimson Peak. That movie looked like crap when it came out. <gasps> I'm sorry. It did the, not. The sets were pretty, but the ghosts looked sets terrible. Sets were gorgeous. Okay, the ghosts did not look bad. I feel like that's a gross over-exaggeration. I thought, they, I thought they, were, they were not. Everything I say is a gross over-exaggeration. Get used to it. Truly. Um, <laughs> but they didn't look, I didn't think they looked that good when it was new. I, I didn't think it was very That's impressive. another masterpiece in storytelling and visual like I wouldn't beauty. go quite that far. It was good. So I feel like that's but another one I where I like love he, the characters. I felt like he was trying to do something like The Shape of Water, and then he got it right with The Shape of Water. Like, he was working uh, on it. and Absolutely not. They're two different stories. You cannot compare a gothic horror. Well, I can because like they're both gothic, horror movies. A gothic tale to The Shape of Water. I think The Shape of Water was more whimsical. It was definitely more whimsical, yes. Yes. And it, it, it was like a love story. It was more story. like lighthearted. Oh, God. They're both so good. I love them both so much. And Tom Hiddleston... He's an amazing actor. Amazing. Am I the only person who thinks he's just okay? I love him. What else has he done other than being Loki and that? I just love his accent. I know he's done other stuff, but it's like he's just like generic British bad guy number six. No. No. I think he, he is. wasn't a. Never mind. Hi. I was going to say he wasn't a bad guy in Crimson Peak, Hi. but not really. Yeah. No. Nothing is ever that black and white, especially in that story. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying, like, he's not. I'm not saying he's bad. I just don't think he's. 
like, oh my God, he's so cute. And I'm he like, turned sure. out to be a good. I guess. I just think he's a great actor. But what else is he, like? I'm sure, what else has he done? Because I've seen him in that, and then you don't need to look at it. But like, he done that, and he's done Loki. You know, which, who, I think those are the roles that he's most famous yeah. for. I'll have to um, see what else he's been because I haven't seen him in anything else. An amazing actor, hmm. um, Benedict Cumberbatch. See him too. Oh my I don't God. like him but that much he, either. <sighs> I he don't, is so stunning. I know that you don't I like. Don't, I don't like Sherlock. I despise oh the Hobbit movies. Oh my God. Movies. How can you not like Sherlock? I just didn't. Sherlock is amazing. I just didn't. It's okay. And I it is didn't. like, the way he plays Sherlock, it's just mm. art. It is art. But you know, um, I know that you and I really don't care for the Hobbit movies that much. Like we don't. Oh no, I hate them. Yeah. I hate them. I yeah. mean, <laughs> I can watch them, but like. It's definitely not on par it's with a, Lord of the Rings. It's a matter of disappointment at how Absolutely. not Lord of the Rings they were. It has nothing on Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is amazing. But, you know, it's a it's a fun story. All so. these attractive dwarves with made-up love stories. That nah, hell no. But, <laughs> but I actually saw uh, on YouTube recently this... Uh, someone had filmed uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. He was... He was uh, filming his role of Smog. The, I will give that. He got way into that. And <laughs> he has the motion cap stuff all mm-hmm. over him. And his movements and the way that he is so into the character and the way he's delivering his lines, mm. it's art. It is utter it's a shame art. It was a terrible movie. Like, I cannot I, find it on YouTube. I'm sure you can. Oh, I don't sure, remember yeah. what we looked up, but it was amazing. He is an amazing actor. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Cool. Anyways, so we'll we're, we're gonna try to move on here. So other than that, because it so it, it was nice that there's some DC movies that don't suck. Yes. So that's pleasant. I am I am unfortunately getting very tired of superhero films, which we'll get mm-hmm. into a little bit later. Mm-hmm. But also, so this month was the 40th anniversary for Ridley Scott's Alien. Yes. A masterpiece. A classic. Absolutely. True masterpiece, especially when you consider you know when it was made. So of course I rushed right out and bought the uh, 4K version of it. One of the few movies I own in 4K because that movie looks amazing because there's no CG to make it look stupid. But it was just a brilliant film. He was in Kong. Um, so if you have... Oh, oh good. And, oh, good. And uh, <laughs> hey, you really liked Kong. I, I know, but he that, that was not... His and best role. Troll hunter. Okay. Okay. Let's just <laughs> let's just put this away. Just real. Okay. okay I mean, sorry. You're you're not you're not winning any points here, Brit. <laughs> I I very hey, much like Skull Island, but it wasn't actor. what I would call a masterpiece of acting, hey, especially not, his role. Hey, he's still a great actor, and uh-huh. hey, man, you gotta eat, right? You gotta make movies. Yeah. He also with the Jap- well, Have you seen, have you seen the Japanese commercial he did for coffee or whatever? No. Oh, it was, it's real. But anyways, that moving on. That sounds amazing. Moving I'm going to look it up when I get moving home. Moving on. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> People are like, is he not making enough money off the Avengers here? He's making coffee commercials. Oh, come on. He just wants to have fun. It's because he looks like uh, Bill Murray doing that Suntory thing from uh, Lost in Translation. <laughs> for like a Suntory time. Aww. Anyways, sorry. Um, so, Alien. Mm, do love yeah. that movie. It's such a great and movie. And it's re- like still, in my opinion, the best, like, kick-ass female character I've Absolutely. ever seen in a movie. I dare say that, like, Ripley, she was one of the first. She was. You know? She was, uh, I think, the first woman to make over a million dollars in a movie also. Wow. Which on Aliens. So, but Go she's, Sigourney it's Weaver. So, it was so good. and it, it didn't feel like it was shoehorned. It felt natural. She was just tough. Okay, but I have a bone to pick with you hmm. when it comes to that stuff. What? Just because... Sometimes I feel lately, just because there is a female character and a strong presence of a strong female character, doesn't necessarily mean that it is shoehorned. No, and that it's it's, it's not. But so, but sometimes. some cases do feel like they have to like we won't get that into this. But there mm-hmm. are cases now like Endgame where like that's a checkbox scene right there. I don't think so. I mean, you're not in the head of that writer. I no, I'm in the head of the audience. I'm seeing. I'm like, uh, I just don't. Uh, I don't necessarily think that it, it that is always. And, the we'll, case. and we'll agree to this. I won't. You I don't. I mean? I'm not going to go down that road. And I'm it's just, important. Look, I'm just saying. I use Sigourney as an example, saying this is the yes. perfect example of how to do it right. Well, absolutely, absolutely. Because do she you... just happens to be a woman. Yes. And that's perfect because there isn't a difference, and there's not yeah. supposed to be one. And I like that because I really mm. like that because truly we are equals. Yes. Absolutely. So I do like how it just doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. What matters is that 
she's amazing you know what i mean like mm-hmm. she's awesome yep. she is this awesome person and you're right she just happens to be a woman it doesn't matter but so it is nice too. she is so pretty it's like straight like sigourney's like st- okay like she's like uh, like strange pretty yeah she's unique looking she, yeah she's a unique beauty she also has like this really regal way of talking i love her voice oh my and god i love that like she has yeah. a very beautiful speaking can you voice. tell i like alien a lot. Yes, it's okay, amazing. We'll get, we'll get back into the movie here because I don't I don't want to go down this road I'm, too much. I'm just what? all I wanted to say, mm-hmm. uh, you know. But but it is important to have those characters. It feels good too from the perspective of a woman to have those characters. You know, I've always been engrossed. I've always loved horror. I've always loved video games, and those two things are predominantly male. Mm-hmm. And and yeah, it's fine, you know. But it's really cool to be like, yeah. That's awesome. I can relate to that, and okay. that's really great. Let me reply to that, and then we can stop. Okay. I agree. Thank you. All I'm saying, <laughs> and what it feels like in some cases, is yes. it's never a good idea to throw in any kind of thing for the sake of having that there. I get it. it if it's part of the story for one reason or another, great. If it's there, it's like, here's the story, but you've got to add a, you've got to add watermelons Otherwise, you know, we can't we can't sell it. I, I don't like that. I get it. That's and, what I mean. And and also, I, I want to clarify because when I say like predominantly male, I mean the people that make this stuff. Like obviously, the concept of a final girl is a final girl. Uh, if you like horror, horror you know what movie that is. reference there, guys. Yes, you know what that is if you like horror movies. But I'm talking about well, like by the way, Stan Winston, we'll, Rick Baker, all of these fantastic. Thank you. These these yeah. movie makers, James Cameron, my boys. A lot of them. Are you know so I I love that the Babadook is a fantastic movie and you know it's it's the awesome. The woman needs to make another movie. By she the way. does need to make another movie. Oh my god! But you know it's it's okay. just cool. We're we're going way hard, cool. too hard in the movies here. So I'm I'll, so I'll sorry. Okay, yes. Through Alien, so. But mm. I I 100 understand your perspective and I do agree. But it's nice to have it. Mm. You know it's yes. nice because of that same angle. You don't always need to have an awesome machine gun toting guy like if he's not absolutely fit. that's like you know mischief makers favorite game yes. you play as a girl and it just works yes so it's cool um absolutely I just don't want to make anybody angry i'm not trying to piss anybody off oh, no, man. not at all not at all but like everybody just be cool everyone just love each other and we're okay <laughs> <laughs> all right man <laughs> just, just peace <laughs> um but alien glorious film yes. terrifying so film um, and if you try to watch it from the perspective of people that watched it for the first time, that movie would have given you nightmare. That movie was yeah, just okay, off the wall. When did that movie come out? 79? 78 or 79? It was 79, yeah. I believe. Yeah. yeah. So just people were leaving the theater, getting sick. Because I mean, you have like the famous chest burster scene, and yeah. then you have the people getting killed. Like, And that's fine, but you have the unexpected stuff. You have the part where Ian Holmes' character, Ash, oh is God. an android. Yes. And you don't know. Like, And at first, you don't know he's an android. He just... Start sweating white stuff and then goes and nuts and try to murder Ripley. Trying to kill Ripley. Yeah, and, like, and then what they the heck knock is going his on? freaking head off. And he's like, I'm like, oh man, at that point, I'd be gone. I'd be crying in the back. Like, that, I, that dude would be to me now. I'm like, you would, where did I mean, that come you cried from? during Batman. I'm just saying. <laughs> you I didn't, did. I didn't, you tell that story all the time. I didn't necessarily time. cry. You I may have shrieked. I may have shrieked <laughs> and panicked because, once again, and if, you got left in the if car. That movie came out, I was like, two or three years old okay and i'm in yeah, there and it. the theater was really loud and this big demonic thing going yeah, i'm like batman's ah! the good guy it was like my first movie <laughs> it was so loud just, it was just the noise oh, man. man like loud noises scare little kids that's true and then there's like a big evil bat that's gonna kill people they're talking about like yeah they say he drinks blood all this horrible stuff and i'm just like you what i didn't even know who <laughs> batman was Okay. <laughs> it was Michael Keaton in a suit with wings going to murder me. Oh, man. Michael Keaton does look great in that suit. Oh, all I'm saying, I feel <laughs> totally justified, okay? I, I Given the, absolutely. Just, I, I don't feel like you believe me. <laughs> look, <laughs> it's just, just loud noises I'm and so people sorry. going blah, okay? okay I, mm-hmm. Whatever, moving mm-hmm. on. <laughs> Alien, and I, I have to stop this now because we're going way too long. Yes. Um, I love how we have no talk, topic and we're still going to break an hour because I, I haven't even gotten to the news yet. It's okay, it's um, fun. I love Alien because <laughs> it's. I think it's a perfect demonstration mm-hmm. on why you need to leave directors the heck alone. Yeah, yeah. Because you think movie one, Ridley Scott, who now doesn't know his butt from a hole in the ground. Oh my God. Cinematically, unfortunately. Oh no. Well, he's very hit or miss now. Like Martian was fantastic. Martian was amazing. Alien Covenant. And was Prometheus not that bad. were hulking, okay. festering piles of disappointment. Hang I'm, on. Mm, we'll get there. Mm-hmm. 
James Cameron, Aliens, one of my favorite movies ever, took took the alien concept, spun it, mm -hmm. and still made a different but phenomenal movie. Mm -hmm. Alien 3, uh, David Fincher, was completely forced under the thumb of the studio and made a very butchered, depressing okay film especially with the director's cut now but my god that movie was a mess um <laughs> resurrection we had what was it jean-pierre genet one of the best french directors excellent ever. director absolutely um uh uh jean-pierre delicatessen uh, city of lost children and uh, that did... awesome movie with ron perlman yes oh ron and then perlman what's, and then what's that movie with and, uh, uh, amelie what's... yeah that's right amelie that i love movie. that movie it's fantastic great movie. music mm -hmm. but fantastic once again the, the fox just kind of like possessed him and made him do things a certain way and that movie with all of its great characters and Brad Dourif and weird twisted storyline just wasn't very good. Yeah. That I'm going to be real I really don't go past aliens. And most I, people I don't. I know that's that, yeah. That's I why just, the movie that what's his face the man who did a uh, Chappie and Elysium I can't remember mm -hmm. his name was the movie he was supposed to be making before it got canned mm -hmm. damn you Disney um was going to pick up directly after too. Just like oh. just like Halloween yeah. would took mm -hmm. a, took place directly after the first one of those it was just mm -hmm. going to drop everything off and go. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. I I would not mind that. Yep, I that think would so that cool. would be but. interesting. But though <laughs> yes Prometheus was not that great. It was not. Okay. But Covenant was fine. It was not and fine. Uh, yes, it was. It was not. I really enjoyed. It was enjoyed. a movie that didn't know what it wanted to be. It, it had to make up for all of Prometheus's gaping plot holes while still while trying to be a standard alien movie. And if it would have just dumped Prometheus like a bad, just like a, like, get it, go over there. No, yuck. It would have been so much better. I think it did a perfectly fine job down to the creepy android. I thought it was a disaster. I, I thought I, the creepy android was a sh hardly, as a shoe in again. Hardly. Um, and straight up stealing scenes that they didn't use for aliens, by the way. I mean, that was his idea. He wanted to use that shot. Give him a break if he has the chance to use that shot it, later and he decides to use it. Wasn't, it. it wasn't. What do you mean I his shot? That was James Cameron, not Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott, James Cameron was going to use that scene in Aliens, not Ridley. Okay, so Ridley thought it was a good idea. Well, it's good because it was the only good idea you had in the film, wasn't it? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. No. It was bad. It was terrible. I love I'll him. I'll fight anybody and everybody on that. And, this, and I love the Aliens franchise. I know. Even though half the franchise is garbage. I just love... <laughs> I, I think you love Alien, but you don't love Ridley Scott. And I think that's the but difference that's, that's between... But that's also a disagree. I, I love a bunch of Ridley Scott movies. I love Gladiator, Blade Runner, uh, Legends. <sighs> so good. Oh, man, uh, so good. Uh, you haven't even seen The Duelists. I have. He's one of my favorite so directors. It's just that a lot of directors, as they get older, you mm -hmm. know, looking at you, Steven Spielberg, um, they don't, um, you know, they need to be kind of pulled back a little bit, I think. Uh, because, once again, The Martian was really good. But um, and then Spielberg again, so was fine. American Gangster was really good. Mm -hmm. Um, he did that right. Yeah, he did that. Um, Body of Lies was meh with uh, Leo. That was a that was meh. But yeah, dude, Prometheus and Covenant were just bad. I thought Covenant was fine. He was going back on his own can, going, "It's just a movie. I'll do what I want." Like then leave it alone. Yeah, I I get it. That d Blade Runner, of course. How could we leave that out? It's my favorite. Yeah. But yeah, it's like what Ryan Johnson did when he butchered <laughs> Star Wars. Just, just, just with with two rusty knives. I'm sorry if you like Star Wars. We've been on this before. We're okay. Let's drop it. <laughs> I'm getting mad. Okay, I'm, not even to the, like, I'm not even to the part of the show where I need to get mad yet. <laughs> he's like growing. You know, his face is getting all red. I was gonna say you're growing gills. How does that even make sense? I don't even know. But Beast whatever. Man. All right, we will move on. <laughs> it is time for the news, which is going yes. to be the rest of the show. All right, yes. and it's <laughs> the news. We're five minutes in. <laughs> Okay. I, like, I want to keep talking about movie. No. I know, I know. Movie cast coming. <laughs> oh, also, if you guys have any appreciation for Creature from the Black Lagoon, because oh, I mean, who doesn't? Book. Creature from the Black Lagoon is amazing. I want a creature <laughs> tattoo. I'm gonna get one. Disagree. But, <laughs> but Creature is amazing. And shut your face. Um, and you have to admit that quickly, is one of the Brittany. most iconic quickly. movie monsters. Yes, okay. But quickly. Anyway, there's a book uh, called the The Lady from the Black Lagoon about mm. the person that um, created the creature, and it is a really good book. So I suggest you read it. Anyway, that was it. Agree. Yes. <laughs> um, I can I can very much respect what they did in that movie. I didn't really like the movie that much. I can understand. But I love that. the stories of how the guy in the suit had to just like hold his breath for a yeah. very long time. Don't drown, homie. Super and it's nice super dance, heavy. Too. So nice. Yeah, he was really cute. If I, mentioned, I think I may have started to mention there, but uh, this weekend, uh, Dallas Frightmare, we what? will be there um, yeah. on Saturday. So if you want to, I mean, if you happen to like horror movies and live in Dallas and be going to Frightmare, well, we're going to be there. Yeah, but. and if you happen to listen to this and you see us on yes, the show. Yes, well, this will be up, or, at, or this will be up for sure tomorrow on the 2nd. Okay, so you'll have yeah. a week 
So if you happen to be there, me and Brit and Dan actually is going to be there too. So oh cool yeah, yeah feel free to flag us down. I'm You're like hey you guys suck. I may. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really short, so forgive me just look, if look, I don't look for see the tall you. guy. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll be there. But just I know yeah. there have been people. I I made friends at Frightmare a few years ago, and uh, it was funny because I I saw them last year, and they like you know Jackie was with me. Yeah. It was the year that Jackie and I went alone, and um and they flagged me down, and I was just like do do do. I can't see anything, and Jackie was like, hey, that's your friend, and I'm like, oh oh hey, I'm so sorry, I didn't see you. <laughs> She's also kind of, as you know, kind of an oblivious creature. So kind of. we'll move on. News. So okay. first bit of news. Arr, it's a good time to be a pirate again. You are a pirate. Not that kind of pirate, you Philistines. I'm Yar, talking about har, Sea of Thieves. Thieves. <laughs> <laughs> so thie- see- thieves Thieves. 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 of Thieves. Yep. Thieves. Thieves. The, the, thieves. The Seas of the Thieves, thieves had its big <laughs> anniversary update today. Tremendous, giant update. Really? And a bunch of, yeah, Sea of Thieves, a game with a very troubled start, and which I've talked about still enjoying the yeah. hell out of, anyways, um, has received just continuous updates where they added, you know, the Megalodon, they added more bits of the story. This update is huge. You know, there's ghost ships in the game now also mm-hmm. so there's ai control ship they added a whole separate pvp mode which i'm really thrilled about by the way because <laughs> um, the best part of that game was was you know pirating and killing other people and you know stealing their stuff and ruining their day um my god it, that's what the game was you're a I pirate know. it's like people getting mad in gta 5 like why did you shoot me i'm a criminal <laughs> it's I what know. i do <laughs> I'd still feel bad though, and I just want to like let's just sail and play the hurdy gurdy. I did tell do you the story. Did I tell stuff. them the story about how me and John stole the ship's gold? Yes. Okay, I did. I told the story here also. I, I don't okay, know cool. if you if you said it on the show. Okay, well I'll tell it again really quick because it's worth. I'll do a okay. condensed version. If I told it before, I apologize. But me and John were playing um, on this two man ship, and we met two other people. And I was like, oh, hi, because there's open chat on the things. So I'm like, oh, hi, how's it going? We're new to the game. How are you doing? Oh, no. And they were like, oh, hello, nice. And we followed them over to the dock, oh, and we were talking, and we were good buddies. And I was like, and I had uh, I had, I had John in the Discord. So I was like, hey, John, let's leave them over here. Let's let's go steal their stuff. We get distracted. Terrible them. people. So we walked over to their boat, and I started stealing their stuff while they were on the shore. And they walked onto the boat while I was there. And they're like, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, man, I'm checking out your boat. Do you have any bananas? We have no bananas left. Um, wow. Yeah. So he had the bananas, and then I'm like, John, get over here and distract them so I can steal their stuff. So John's like, hey, guys, check out this new dance I can do. And he's dancing, and they're like, come on, play, play. So they're playing the music while I'm just carrying. <laughs> like, so you see, you guys are terrible the two guys like, like clapping along as John's dancing, and I'm just walking behind them, taking their chests off the boat. Oh, my God. It's like, all right, see you later. All right, God bless you. That <laughs> you know, is just left. such a pirate story. <laughs> it was amazing. And I would feel terrible. I yeah, couldn't do I just, it. just I oh, couldn't do that. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, so but big anniversary update. They've added even more to the game. They've added, they've added story missions. They've added the ability to fish, which sounds dumb, but fishing in video games is awesome. Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> it's just like cooking in video games. There's cooking now is also. Stunning. They've added cooking and different animals you can hunt and rare fruit you can mix together into magical recipes and stuff and everything. I hate yeah. to cook in real life, but I love video game cooking. It's just so fun. But so if you haven't checked it out, now is the time to check it out. If you have checked it out and left, this is a great time to come back. It's mm-hmm. a free update. There's tons of new content. Content. I will be downloading it and trying it myself. So if you play cool. on PC or on Xbox One, which are the only ways to play now that I think about it, come come look me up. I don't really know what my I, I think my Xbox user tag is Eva Unit 05 with the capital O5, I think. It's the icon with the ghetto robo on it. Don't say it. <laughs> don't say it. The ghetto robo. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, I mean I'll 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 pirate it and up with you ads. I have mm. that on my Xbox. Yes. And, and it so is crossplay, so it yes, is we can. crossplay, right? Yes. Okay, so I may try it too. So feel free uh, to look me up. Yeah, as so well. let us know. We'll add you, and we'll rock and roll. I'm Accio Pop Tart. Uh, <laughs> I have a, a T Rex as my uh, icon, if you're wondering, and then my background is like bright pink. Yep, so. So, yeah, add us. We'll we'll get our pirate on with you. Yes. Um, I beg your pardon. I'm sorry. I so. almost never touch my Xbox though, so if it takes me a really long time, I apologize in advance. Yep. So I have. This is a couple of these things, like I've noticed a few things on this list are good news, bad news kind of stuff. So, good news, they're making a new Earthworm Jim game. High Yay! five! You yes! were just saying you wanted another one. Of I those. was, and it's going to have the original team's going to be back with the Which composer cool. and the director, and it's going to be exclusive to the Intellivision Amico. But worth it. Oh my I God. Think. 
So I don't think we've actually talked about this on the show because I think I saw it and scoffed, Mm -hmm. and I feel kind of guilty about that. But so in television is making a console again. It was bought out by I man, I should have written down his name, but the man who actually did the music for Earthworm Jim is actually the president of Intellivision. Really? Yes, which is That's how he's cool. getting the game made. <laughs> I see. I see. Okay. Um, Smart move, guy. So the Intellivision Amico, which sounds like an insurance company by the way. So not maybe not the best name. Um It really does. It does. Well, it's Am- Amico is insurance, I, isn't it? I think it is, isn't it? No. Amico Insurance, I not insurance? Is it? No, those those I commercials with the football where they're all like It sounds <laughs> like it, but I have no idea. Um I just wish it was on Switch. Yeah. Well, and it's going to be exclusive to the Intellivision, which, you know, all the Intellivision games they've said, the Intellivision is going to be this little little white box, at least the concept art. Mm -hmm. Does this, I mean, it really smacks very heavily of the Coleco Chameleon, which, you know, all of you guys have a copy of a system and you're all playing it, right? Oh, wait, it was never released and it was vaporware and it was a scam? Yes. I was like, what is that? Uh, Well, Coleco (laughs) apparently was going to have their own, you know, the ColecoVision, another one of the old 70s consoles, was going to release something called the Chameleon. It turns out that... Wasn't that recent? A couple of years ago, but yes. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, but it turns okay, out yeah. all it was, they were using sh- uh, old Jaguar shells. Yes, we were talking about yeah, that. And we it, talked about and that. And it never released. It was all just a big scam. Yeah, I remember. I remember reading yeah, about that, actually. The cardboard circuit board, yeah. And and we talked about it briefly. So I immediately thought that. I did a little bit of homework on this. And did mm. they not, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but did they not have a Kickstarter that made like a million dollars? I don't know if it was Kickstarter. It may have been, or it was some, some crowdfunding thing. Yes, exactly. Something and like it was that? a huge wow. rip and lots of people lost money, yeah. Oh, no. Um, so be careful when you crowdfund people. Well, it depends on what it is, because uh, certain ones do not give you the money until it's... Yes, until it, whatever. But just, yeah. just be careful before you just... Because th- it's really easy to make fake stuff and hype people up now, so just yeah, be careful. But I, I do love the idea of crowdfunding. Like, I, I won't... I Within reason, stop. a lot of crowdfunding games have been crap. I actually, I actually want to do a, a topic on crowdfunding at some really? point. Really? Yes. I think we should. Because I'm Because you all have for stuff it. like Mighty Number no. Nine, Look, which is garbage, and stuff like Star Citizen, which I won't talk about much. I know. But oh boy, I could talk about that game for a while. But I feel like it's so important that we have that indie presence because a lot of stuff is. Maybe not clean your phone oh, while we're doing the show and shaking the table. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, but indie so presence important. The Intellivision. Amico is this little box, and it's going to have these controllers, which are the Intellivision controller, Mm -hmm. which, I'm sorry, Super Retro fans, is, I think, the worst controller next to the Jag I've ever seen. No way. It's just, it's so ugly. I mean, okay, let's put it this way. There's a reason why they don't use it now. Why no one adopted, like, oh, what D-pad? Let's have this circle and some buttons on the sides. That is weird. But as long as the game is... Like the Intellivision controller looks like it. Actually, it's funny because the new ones that it's gonna have it's gonna have a dial, mm-hmm. a directional dial thingamajiggy, mm-hmm. some buttons on the side, and a touch a color touch screen. Who out there loves touch screen controls for their games? But what, what, none of you. Hey. I mean, I f- <laughs> I feel like the DS is fine. Okay, so but I'm like, that's like saying let's play Sonic on your phone. Who does mm-hmm. that? I'm gonna take this but until it's... after what? until after class. I need that. No, you can have it when we're done. You don't need to clean your phone. I need to put my phone in there. Okay, we'll put your phone in there and be done with it then. Because, Jerk. Because. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. So, but it just, you know. Oh, yeah. Actually, mm-hmm. yeah. I was going to say, I've played many cell phone games. Uh-huh. And that are platformers? I pl- and they require precise input? Not a platformer. I played one where you were like a wizard mm-hmm. and you went through I know what dungeons, game you're playing. And, and it was kind of wonky. It was a oh. twin stick. It was a twin stick, and mm-hmm. the the uh, Stranger Things game for cell phone is actually not bad. Uh-huh. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent game. I've never had problems. Well, I want to go out there and say that touchscreen controls are the devil, <laughs> and even if you do think they're not that bad, they're really physical not. controls are always going to be better. You can't I mean, you can't argue with that. You really can't. You're saying you would just as quickly play a game, rather play a game on a touchscreen than you would with a controller. I I just wouldn't see as long as it works well. I won't see the problem. What would you What would you and prefer? And I feel like what would you prefer, Brittany? And don't you dare tell me right now that you wouldn't care either I would way because you can get out. Playing whatever game was fun, uh, and it doesn't really matter to me because you know that's true. Uh, it as long as it's lot. fun, as long as it works. But if the controls are garbage, it doesn't work. Not necessarily, though. It depends on what the game is, because like I said, Stranger Things okay. plays really well. Okay, so play well. Super Mario on your phone. Okay, that would be weird. Okay. You need, to, you gotta feel I those I still buttons. think it would be fine. You could do it. It wouldn't be as... I don't need to as, feel. It wouldn't be as good. 
mm -hmm. don't have that tactile feedback. It's just it's the way it works. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it'll it'll work. But th that's why I'm concerned about Jim. I'm thinking like, how am I going to play Jim on an Intellivision controller? Am I going to like turn it sideways and have to like have touch buttons and that stupid dial thing? No offense, but it's just, it, mm -hmm. um. It's cool. Like the concept is neat, and the like the things recharge when you plug them back into the thing. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's it's aimed at, it's aimed at hyper casuals like families, mm -hmm. like for sure, because it's supposed and that's to be not cheaper. A problem. It's it's not, and you're right. There's gonna be reimagined, see super cheap versions of old games like Atari. And I, I swear that's to God, so I will cool. take that away if you don't put it down. Oh, so it doesn't matter. It's hurting you. <laughs> I'm bopping but, on the nose. But it just, you know, it it seems like a kind of a. Like, like, I don't know what niche that's going to fill. I do think it's interesting that they are making it hyper-casual, which is not a problem, but they're putting these games on there yeah, that are... Because people have cell phones and switches. Like, I don't know what niche they intend to fill with that. With, like, cheek $6 well, uh, television games. I can think of, like, a very small crowd of people that actually care about that. This is another thing, though. It doesn't have to be, again, so black and white. Sometimes people own numerous devices. It, I, uh, I know, but, okay. like, would you buy this thing? Yes. Really? Yeah. I don't think I would. If it seems fun and there are games that I want to play well, on that's it, that's true. Also, why they've, not? they've also shown nothing. They've only shown concept stuff for yeah. the past year. Okay. So, I mean, so it could evolve. It could be, but I, I, I personally, I don't care for Intellivision or Atari games very much. Like, I, I, I think of me like a lot of people mm -hmm. that grew up with NES and Genesis. Mm -hmm. That's my stuff. Yeah. The stuff before well, yeah. is mm -hmm. just a bit too basic and repetitive because it. it wasn't really until eight bit. You know, until NES, where games became more than just put in a quarter and swing past the crocodiles, yeah, <laughs> or you know, shoot the spaceship when it came out. Like the games got a lot more structured, and everything before that was not really. You know, there's a couple mm -hmm. things like adventure, and you had like the first R type on there, but a lot of it though, the big bunch of it though, you can play for about 20 seconds. Like that really awful game, Yara's Revenge. Hi, David. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but. You know, like, I personally, I can't play those for hours. I get it. So I don't know, like, what family is going to want to play that for hours. Especially when that I, fa when, when the kids are. in that family are just going to want to play Fortnite. I think there are plenty of people, and still plenty of kids, that mm -hmm. will appreciate something like that. That do appreciate what their parents have played. Mm -hmm. um, and and, then, and some of that go stuff Fortnite. is, you know, yes, it may be repetitive, but it's addicting. And it's still fun. Hmm. You get what I mean? Like I'll play Pong. Yeah. And that's weird, but Pong like is Pong's fun. one of the only games I'll but I also play more. But but I you mean, love Tetris. I, I'm disappointed I love is a very strong word. <laughs> 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 I, I, I don't love Tetris. I'll play I'll play it because it's got Child of Eden guy behind it. But oh, um but you know, it's it's a bit just it's a bit of a letdown because I would really like to have Earthworm Jim mm -hmm. on my Switch. Absolutely. Like, I know they're they're determined to make it exclusive, but maybe don't, guys. But I think if there are enough games, like why not? Why wouldn't you get it? Why wouldn't you try it? If there are fun games, well, that, it that's, looks that's one right there. That's one. Yeah, but you don't know the other line. You're that you're they have. you're right. You are Just correct. Saying. But so far, the other lineup that they're saying it's going to be reimagined television titles. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't care about well, playing. Asteroids. I doubt it's going to be only that. I well, mean, Earthworm Jim well, that's is what, a good example. Uh, yes. Also, that's what they advertise. But we will just have to see. I mean, mm -hmm. if they have if they do other things like Jim and they're like you know. Well, they say we'll have Streets of Rage four on it, but Streets of Rage is going to be multi plat because that mm. makes sense. But also, there, I feel like their target demographic is people that like classic games. I know. I mean, we'll see. Like, if, if they can do stuff like Jim, mm -hmm. you know, things from that time period, you know, other things of that of that era, that would be great. Um, we'll just have to see. I just, once again, I'm just, I'm a bit confused as to why they aren't just putting it on as many platforms as possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, exclusivity is, frankly, it's not really a great thing. I just, I, I feel like they have to, oh, yes, it is. I know it's like they say, like, you have to buy this console to play this game, but that's, I mean, a lot of people are just going to be like, no. And I mean, why do you love Sony so much? Because they've got they lots have, of great games, you're right. They have a lot of but, exclusives, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. But they also thing. have a lot of exclusives. Like, I I wouldn't, you know, buy a console for a game in most cases. Like, you, it takes a couple of games yes. to get me to buy a console. What I'm saying, though, is, yes, it's a, a single game, but you don't know what their lineup is Like, I would not buy completely. an Xbox One. I was given my Xbox One. Mm -hmm. I would never buy an Xbox mm -hmm. One for the two games on it. I wouldn't do it. That I, under I understand. Um, and the same thing is, like, if Jim's all you got, I'll wait till you go out of business and you go multi-plat with it. And, no, like, I hope that doesn't happen. But that's kind of thing where I'm not going to buy your console for a single game to play on a not good controller. Yeah, but what I'm saying, though, is you were saying that 
that's the leg up that they have and that's what they need that's what you need sometimes when you're trying to sell a console or when you're trying to sell anything i guess maybe they just be like also here's this controller sony. that doesn't blow it helped sony here's this controller that doesn't look like a like a cell phone i'm just saying we'll know. see what they have you're right you're right just thus far it's super exciting this new gym game and immediately like took the wind out of me I'm like oh it's gonna be relegated to this system mm -hmm. that may or may not even ever come out mm -hmm. at this rate also because it's like at, at this point we there's there hasn't even been like there is no physical picture of this console all we've seen is concept art i see so it's kind of like well hopefully mm. if it's something that if it's something that ends up not coming out hopefully they will I really hope so cuz I do you know, love me some gym yeah. and I mean there hasn't been a gym game since Earthworm Gym 2 people say there was one for the 64 but th that's a myth <laughs> and a hallucination it doesn't exist so hopefully so I will I will I can't believe I'm saying this I'm going to try to stay positive <laughs> about it I'm proud of Ugh, you thank you I'm, I'm, try I'm you. trying I'm trying real yeah, hard here so I'll try proud. to stay positive about it but we will move on. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, one of the reasons why I waited to do the show is uh, Borderlands 3. Yes. The, the gameplay reveal was today. Yes. And they showed off a little bit of stuff. It, The actual reveal itself, I thought, look, was kind of meh. Like, whoever was playing wasn't doing a particularly great job. And I'm just kind of sitting there like, okay, well, the, the space city looks awesome. And oh my some God. of the guns look yes. pretty. But whoever was playing just liked it. The game, there was lots of bits of just silence. What was that city called? Prom Promethea? Pr Promethea? Promethea? Something like that, yeah. I think, something like But it looks so cool and cyberpunky. Like, I'm like, oh, I can't mm -hmm. wait to get in that city. But some some points I wrote down just to, to talk yes. about. So okay. it, it's going to have the same cell shaded look, obviously. We know mm -hmm. that already. Which is gorgeous. Um, but now it's running on Unreal Engine 4, which should hope, hopefully add a little bit more visual flash mm -hmm. to it. Um, what I saw of the game, it looked just like 2. Mm -hmm. So... Take that how you want. I mean, it's a style. I, you know, we yeah. need to see more of it to actually tell if it's. I was gonna say impressive. there's there's nothing wrong with a the style. There is not. You're right. And if the formula isn't broke, you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think it's fine. And it's not like in Borderlands case, it's not like they're popping out of Borderlands every year like they do with college. You are, you are correct. You yes. get what I mean. Yes. So for me, it doesn't bother me. That's what you love about Borderlands. I know. That's you love the gameplay style. You love the art. Most people, well, it's all of the elements. Well, what I have here, because my what I talked about last time is, is it going to be enough to warrant it being a three? Because Borderlands pre sequel felt like it was just cash any blah. Like it wasn't. Barely that good. I say yes because it's been it's been a long time. Well, we'll get we'll get there. That's why I'm saying. Well, this is what I've I've done so far. What mm -hmm. I've seen so far. And we'll, we'll go from there. Okay. So you know, new engine. We know that. Um, new move. I said new movement abilities. Like you mm -hmm. can sprint now. You can kind of do that baseball slidey thing into mm -hmm. stuff, which is like very basic. You know, welcome to you know Call of Duty from a decade ago kind of thing. But it's mm -hmm. there. Um, you can grab onto ledges now. So if you like jump, you can kind of vault over things now. So just little little tweaky quality of life things. So not that big of a deal, but it's there. So yay. Um, some of the guns now have alternate fire options. So you know, like one of the examples was a pistol that could shoot micro missiles like mm -hmm. Doom style. So that's cool. Um, elemental weapons like some of the fancier ones can swap elements mid things. So very much like the uh, do, 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 wow, what was the gun? Uh, like hard light. You don't know what I'm talking about, but um, there there are guns in Destiny where I mean you reload, you swap them mm -hmm. elemental type. So like that. So if mm -hmm. you played, yeah, like like hard light or that that sniper rifle which just got released on PC like four months ago. Anyways, sorry, stuff like that. Um, so that's cool. Uh, what else? What else? Um, more environmental hazards now, so you can like throw explosive barrels in water. You know, conducts electricity, and once again, little think about little things that are nice to have there, and cool stuff for me now. Um, finally, and this is once again like thank God, instanced loot. You you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they're doing the the amazing thank you Jesus Diablo three thing where <laughs> everyone has their own loot, so you can't be loot jacked. Yeah. I mean that's all well and good, but when you're zero sniping from a mile away mm -hmm. and someone is right up close, gets all the crap and won't share with you, I'm not gonna point any fingers <laughs> or name any <laughs> names, okay? But all of you have had that out there. <laughs> Every single one of I you, there's one you person stuff. who scurries in there and grabs all this stuff and then goes, And to Sorry, be fair, I've done that to you like this, one here's a, here's time. Here's a milk carton for you. One time, and I didn't know. So just remember that. <laughs> and if she admits to one, you, it's like roaches. There's a million more times Oh, it no, happens. it was one time. I didn't realize. All of my stuff. And I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> no problem. So... Instance loot now, so that won't mm -hmm. happen. And cool. something else that Borderlands has done 
desperately needed level scaling. And what this means, it's a little bit, um, you know, what, what, so in Borderlands, if you had a character that was like, Excuse say, me. level two, and then someone else had a character that was level 20, you could not effectively play with each other because yeah. there was no level scaling mm-hmm. and it was stupid. In this case, because of the instance loot and the level scaling, you can play with people regardless of your level, I still get that. a challenge, awesome. and still get good loot. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that sounds like a good time. Yeah. Like I have in parentheses and all caps, this is a big deal because it is. Yeah. That that means that, you know, playing with low level people, it'll be so much easier. You don't have to start new characters because, you know, we all have different schedules. We can't always play together. That's so true. You, you might get ahead in a couple levels with people. You might get different weapons. That's not a detriment to the game now. You can play mm-hmm. separately and then hook back up because the co-ops drop in, drop out. That's great. That's good to hear. Good job, Gearbox. Hilariously, Randy Pitchford was live in front of people saying that would there would be no microtransactions, Brittany, today. Oh, no. Hilariously, right after the stream, oops, sorry, never mind, there's going to be microtransactions. <laughs> like, for sure. For sure. Straight from? Straight straight from their Twitter. Really? <laughs> yes, it's, it's going to be, um, there'll be, of course, cosmetic only, but still okay. micro. And Randy Pitchford got, like, replied to a couple of them just, in typical Randy Pitchford, kind of annoyingly childish fashion, kind of like cussing at people, saying it was clickbait. And like, but it's not because it's you said no microtransactions, and there are. I think <laughs> uh, maybe he meant like certain microtransactions. That's, that's saying, well, like, I said no microtransactions, but I meant this, this, this. Like, well, you probably yeah. should have said that. Then, I mean, it, it's not going to help you. Like, you know what people were complaining yeah. about Star Wars Battlefront. I, two I know. Before. It's just it's just kind of I mean? humorous. Where it's like literally like forty five minutes after he said <laughs> no microtransactions to a screaming crowd, it came out that well, maybe actually they're going to be some. Yeah, but just <laughs> cosmetic to me that doesn't count. I know it's it's like where do you draw the line? I, like I know we talked about Mortal Kombat that. Mm-hmm. Just came out where day one the Mortal Kombat game came out sixty bucks you could buy the the whatever the heck it was called the fighters pass yeah. junk for, basically the the equivalent yeah, of a season pass for forty dollars mm-hmm. and even then there was a day one character you had to pay for separately yeah there's a point where it's like dude stop and I, I, do I think... had to be like well fighting games don't make that much money I'm like either then they stop making them. Or they make them for less. I feel like that's not an excuse. Because now that's now a hundred and five dollar game before taxes. Because it, they it, they definitely have a cult following. They do well enough, or yeah. they wouldn't keep making yeah. them. People and I greedy. feel like that doesn't mean that you should stick it to your community necessarily. No. Um, but I mean, just because you, they you may not be as popular as say other mm. games. You know what the answer is, don't you? stop buying it <laughs> oh, no. or just buy the game and don't buy all the junk like because they keep yeah. doing it because people keep people i say you it. should definitely support the game like absolutely um but, but don't don't support sleazy practices you know and sometimes i feel like that means don't buy the game i feel like i don't mind dlc like i'm okay with like with with the dlc for little nightmares we paid for that yeah. you know i don't mind that um or or certain other types of dlc the dlc for bioshock paid for that it was worth it mm-hmm. you get what i mean like that that's was also fine, legit stuff but made after like, that that's like once yeah. that comes back to the expansion pack argument if it's legitimately content made after the game and not stuff yes. that i don't know capcom um would do or or bioware for that matter where they'll have it in the game and they'll hold it back to use his DLC. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm-mm. No. But I, I definitely think uh there that there should be a line. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, but cosmetic I don't really count that. I don't even think that's it's um, like dude if you that like matter to like me. make the game. If you need to charge me more for the game, just do it, but give me the whole darn game. Yeah. I'm sick of this nickel and dime crap. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well you don't have to buy it. I'm like, I want the whole game though. Yeah. You know, I want the entire game. Like, I've paid you for it. Here you go. I'll, like, I'll pay you more if you want, but you know, don't think, nickel and dime me. I think me. the unfortunate reality is that it is cool to have DLC because it's true. Mm-hmm. Um, you can Your game could last forever, you know, theoretically, right? Because you can keep – they can keep adding to the game, and all you have to do is just pay a little amount. Now nah, you got you the, got, you got to make that new game for 60 the, bucks so you can do it again in a un- year. The unfortunate piece, though, mm-hmm. is that – or games like, you know – there are certain games that you they, you can just keep adding on to it, yep. you know, um, and that's cool. Being able to have that accessibility is really nifty. The unfortunate piece, though, is that they can abuse it, mm-hmm. and you can lose As track many of them do of how much you're spending, mm-hmm. and so ultimately you could end up spending more. Whoops! Uh, uh, but I think that there are certain you, developers that won't. You you're not you're not saying there are developers out there that shall we say epically, haha, um, oh would take advantage of let's say children <laughs> in a in a game. Yeah, exactly. 
buying skins or I I don't know uh, what just let's just uh, the, uh, it's ba- cool. Pass. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to take away from that though, because we'll, it, it we'll is, discuss that in a fortnight. I <laughs> it is cool <laughs> being able to do that, to being able to have that with your game. Your game can keep growing. But yes, uh, the the opportunity. We, w- for we won't. We won't name any people or developers <laughs> right, exactly. or games. But you know, there are some people that don't abuse it. Um, and then buy exclusivity and Witcher. screw over fans. Sorry. Witcher is. <laughs> Uh, Witcher is a perfect example. Sorry, but we'll we'll, we'll talk about it. Yes. Uh, Ooh, I want to talk about it so bad. Sorry, we'll we'll go on. (laughs) But yes, oh, ultimately, Mm -hmm. uh, what I was going to say about Borderlands 3 Mm -hmm. is it looks really cool, and I'm willing to play it. It does look look cool. I still want to see more from it, but um, it did look cool. I I very much appreciate the loot loot scaling uh, and Earth. What they did show of the gameplay, I thought it was funny. Like it. I forgot. You get a spaceship. Really? Yes, and that's how you travel. Your your spaceship is your new hub world, and that's mm-hmm. how you travel between planets. Oh, that's nifty. So Ooh, I like you're that. You're getting off of Pandora, that disgusting brown ball of. I always thought that was funny. <laughs> I'm like, cell shaded game, everything's brown. And it's like okay. It was still pretty though. I thought it was still. pretty. I thought the environment was disgusting. But yes, but this yeah. this that city ooh. city looks amazing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I I definitely think it's different enough. You just stated that. Yeah. Like you you get to go to a different oh, planet. No, I'm gonna get it for sure. The city also looks cool. Also, uh. I already like the characters a lot. Um, like that that character uh, that seemed like the main they're gonna be, They're going to be fun for like six hours, and I'm going to want them to shut up again. <laughs> <laughs> but I already like the characters. The mm-hmm. gameplay looks fine. I think it's going to be great. And like I said, it's not like they don't oversaturate the market with Borderlands. Yes, I agree. You know? Cool. So, anyway. Cool. I really want to talk about an Epic Game Store. I want to talk about it so oh bad. <laughs> it's like, look, look. Buying exclusivity at for the at the sake of consumers who have paid for games. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna you know there's there's specific games out there where people have funded a game and then they funded the game to play on Steam and the developer went screw you I got a million bucks from Epic I can refund all of you and I'll still be in the black. I would never buy your game. I wasn't gonna buy the game anyways, but I'm I'd never buy that person's <laughs> game. It's like cool. Thanks, man. You don't care about the people who supported you. I think there's a way to do it and a way not to do it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If you've already promised something to a consumer, I think that you Mm. should deliver on that promise. Absolutely. Um, 100%. But I also don't feel like exclusivity is a problem. It just sucks. Sometimes you need that leg up. I feel like the way it's being done is just they're just using like their dirty Fortnite money. To buy games in their Epic Store, which is full of spyware and crappy features. Oh Sorry, my God. you sound like a conspiracy. It's not theorist a conspiracy right theory. It I'm is. just saying you do. Well, it's fine. It just I is. I don't think that th- that thing's been proven to scan your stuff. From who? Who says? Go on the interwebs. It's got to be true. Oh my God! No, but really, exactly. It's, it's my point. Your, Thank you. I mean, but it, it is like I don't want to. I'm not gonna like look up references right now. But like it does like scan your other game libraries. Like, dude, I don't want that crap on my computer. Oh my computer. God! Everything does well, that. Well, I don't need that one on there. Anyways, <laughs> it just sucks that I'm gonna have to get on there if I want to play Borderlands. You but. know, your your Google Home is listening to things you say. Yes, and, and then I say <laughs> things just to confuse the hell out of it. On purpose. <laughs> There's algorithms, I'm like, man. I'm like, hey Google, how do you get blood stains out of a chicken? <laughs> here's the, oh my god, here's the deal. Just curious. <laughs> there, there are certain algorithms at work in everything oh, that you do, and you know what I didn't think about what? Someone could be listening to this with speakers. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Oh my god. Hey Google, read me a nursery rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's so that's good. Really fun. But you get what I'm saying, though. <coughs> Pardon. You know, yes. the algorithms are at play. I know. I just, I don't, Everything I that just you don't do, need any, I don't. I don't want to help. You're them. gonna. You're gonna think it. You you're gonna get mean? an ad because yep. it knows you better than I you just know yourself. Like, I don't yourself. need to help anybody, buddy. But whatever. We'll move. On. I don't. I don't want to get into it. I didn't want it on purpose because we're still going. And oh my god, how do we do this to ourselves? Why do we? I know. I still have that uh, art piece. To finish. Oops. I Rip, I gotta I'm make gonna dinner. be up until like 3 Okay, so more good news, bad news time, guys. Are you ready? <laughs> Persona 5 coming to the Switch. Except bad it's news, not. it's a crappy, and, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna preface this. You can like these games all you want, that's fine. Oh my god, do you like anything? Yes, Persona 5. <laughs> <laughs> Puppies, robots, chocolate. Ramen. Ramen. The best. Yes. But, so <laughs> Persona 5, Persona 5 S was Persona 5 Scramble. It's going to be a Dynasty Warriors game. Oh, no. <laughs> I really... I, <laughs> Sorry. I really have...
had my heart set on Persona 5 Switch. Like, this is like, this is one of those moments where it's like, son, you out of touch with your community. <laughs> I mean, the Dynasty Warriors games do fine. Fire it's... Emblem Warriors and Hyrule Warriors both sold and I don't get it, really, really well. Fire Emblem specifically was a horror. It wasn't even a good Warriors game. It was just bad. So I don't think it's fair. Like, that's your personal opinion. You're right. But you and cannot argue that the games do well. I can't argue that... Not a single person that likes Persona 5 was like, oh, thank God, it was a Warriors game I mean, and not a But you know what? Those people are probably going to get it anyway. And I hate them. Oh, <laughs> no, th- I mean, it's not a problem. Here's the thing. I don't mind. Absolutely. You want to put a, a Persona 5 Warriors? Just give me the ports. Sweet. Do that. But I, I want both. Like, Atlas <laughs> has this hatred of multi-platforms. Like, it's something that I know it's like some... Companies in Japan is weird, but like mm-hmm. people are like begging to give you money, and you don't like they're I don't from what I'm saying, it's not like a specific like required to only be on PlayStation kind of thing. It's like just do it because I've never fin- I love Five, but I ha- I haven't finished it. I'm never going to finish it. I don't have that much time to sit at home. That's I fin- true. But I, you, I played Xenoblade Chronicles twice. I have a I feeling. It it, it, I have a feeling it is going to happen. It's just going to happen later. Uh, and also, you don't know if Sony has some kind of contract. I really don't think they do. I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm pretty sure it's confirmed that they don't. I could be, let me know if I'm wrong, mm-hmm. but I'm pretty sure it's confirmed mm-hmm. that they don't. Because once again, there's the other spinoffs that are coming there, to other consoles. There just might be, you know, there's always two sides to every story. So there might it's, be other factors. It's, at play. It was just immensely disappointing. Um, and then the strange part also sad. could be Persona Five of the Royal, which. Someone pointed out is kind of strange. So it's an additional story and a new character for full price. So if you own Persona 5, mm-hmm. you have to buy the full price game again to get like an extra 20, 30 hours of gameplay. You can't. Yeah, but that's it. It's not like it's not like DLC. You have to buy a whole it's new game. It's not DLC for sure. For sure. They're not putting it out for separately. For sure. It's just like FES and Golden. I see. It occurred to me like, well, oh, yeah, I mean, that's right. But you did have to pay but for see, FES but see, separately. That's what, no. That's true, but and Golden was on the Vita, so it was like a separate thing. But yeah, yeah, like this is coming to PS4, or again, and it's I be should a say, full price game, even if you already own five, like me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you, I'm assuming. So yeah, well, that's kind of lame. And at this point, it's like a four year old game at this that point. That is interesting. Too, so. Yeah. Hmm. So it's just you know, it's like yeah, like I really wanted five on the Switch. I know a lot of you <sighs> did too. Yeah. Just because I don't have. I don't have RPG home time anymore, especially just with the way work and life is right now. Like mm-hmm. I have, I have time. Like when I'm out of town, I can take it with me mm-hmm. and play it then. Or like you know, I can. Just, my Switch is just easier to play because it's easier to get. I don't have to like. I don't have to sit in front of a TV to play it. Mm-hmm. So I can play it for bits and pieces. Like when I'm in the car, not while I'm driving, <laughs> but like when <laughs> someone else is driving, or if I'm at a hotel, or if I'm here. Yeah. Because you, know, you can play it in like five minute stints, mm-hmm. and that's how you add up to having 300 hours in Xenoblade Chronicles. It's like. <laughs> You know, yeah, you can play gotcha. it, you know, like when you're in the bathroom. I mean, like, you know what I mean? It's like it goes, it's a handheld, it goes everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, I still have only docked it like 12 times, but it just, I'm sad. I'm sad. I think a lot of people are sad too about it, where it's like, man, we were really excited for that. Oh, well, whatever. Moving on. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> so we're going to jump back into a movie really quick, a video game movie, video game movie trailer that came out yesterday. Oh, goodness. Sonic. The Hedgehog. Wow. <laughs> Personally, I felt like it was fine. Okay, you have <laughs> to admit that Sonic is a thing from your worst nightmares. I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> you, he looks he, terrible. He looks, okay. he looks weird, but not like, terrible. Immediately after that trailer, a million people were like, I did this in Photoshop in 10 seconds, and it looks oh so much goodness. better. It's like when they did Transformers, like, Michael Bay, what the hell was wrong with you? These all look like insects. Like, what focus group are you appealing to here? People that are blind? I feel like it wasn't that bad. So that, like, Sonic looks like garbage. His eyes are too <laughs> tiny. His body's too fat. His eyes are too tiny. He does. Like, look at Sonic. Sonic's eyes oh are huge. We talk, he has big cartoon eyes. I just think you're giving him too much of a hard time. I know you love Sonic. I know. Yes. But yes. I think you're giving him too much nope. of a hard time. Just enough of a hard time. Like, someone at Sega had to go, hey, you know what? That looks nothing like Sonic. Maybe we should change him. I think it does look like Sonic. Like, you could have just made... You can tell it's Sonic. It's like Battle Angel. Like, just make the... Just change the eyes a little bit, and it'll look less horrifying. That's it. Because originally, in Alita, they changed her eyes just a little bit, and it helped a whole lot. Like, just just make the eyes, like, 50% bigger, and shrink his limbs a little bit. And he'll look that much better, and still not look like a cartoon character. Like, just... uh, just, 
a little bit? Please, please. I mean, will I rush out to see it? Hell no. no. It's, but will I see it eventually? Yeah. Sure. It's like Just this, this it, is like a Super Mario Brothers movie redesign. It's like on that quality level where it's like, where were you use your head? Okay, but to be fair, we really like the Super Mario. <laughs> yes, but for all the wrong reasons because it's terrible. <laughs> it's, it's a good time though, yes. and this one may be a good time. Plus Jim Carrey. Jim, oh yeah. I am willing oh, to watch yeah. it. Let's talk about. I For Jim Carrey alone, because I love him. Dude, the worst casting I could what? Im- like. I can't think of a lot of characters out there that would play a worse Robotnik. Like I don't know. Like I just I can't see Jim Carrey playing. Like hit, Jim Carrey's playing it like a generic Jim Carrey character, and I hate to say that because Jim Carrey's hilarious, but great. it's like he's just playing it, it. It looks like he's just getting a paycheck, kind of, because he's just like playing generic Jim I don't Carrey. Think, I don't think so. I, I feel like he's just giving it his touch. He's having fun the with generic it. Jim Carrey touch. That's his style. And Jim Carrey doesn't ever have to make another movie again if he wants to, if he doesn't want to. Just, and he hasn't made movies in a while. So I feel he like... He has. They're all just crappy indie drama feel, movies no one likes. Oh, oh my gosh. I could, I'm so mad at you right now. Because um, he wanted to be taken seriously as an actor. He's done some really good serious roles, though. He's done one or two good serious roles and a lot of bad ones. Um, like that Eternal Sunshine of the Spot- Spotless Mind was pretty good. Number 23 was really good. Is not. I really liked that movie. I don't care. <laughs> and there's one where he plays like a serial killer. Mm-hmm. Not a serial killer, but he's like a, a killer. A, c- a, serial, um, a serial toothbrusher. <laughs> he walks around. Oh, my God. <laughs> He is, I don't know if he's a serial killer, but he is a killer. He, d- he just, to me, seems horribly miscast for this movie. Like, just horribly. Like, like Jim all, Carrey, all not I'm saying, saying he's not a great though, actor. I don't think he's cashing in. I think mm. he's just doing movies mm. he wants to do That's fine. because he has the privilege to do so. Well, we will see. But like, I said, he just, he, he looks like, like, I would not ever in my wildest dreams be like, who's going to be Dr. Robotnik? Jim Carrey! You know, like, I just, just wouldn't. You know, and I'm not really sure at the moment who I would want to be Robotnik. But not Jim Carrey. I I feel like it's he's gonna like, do a fine uh, job. Like why? And I feel like they're going for a different approach. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I, yeah. it's one of those things where it's like the new Child's Play movie. Um, is Chucky's being voiced by Mark Hamill, mm-hmm. and Mark Hamill's doing a Brad Dourif impression. Why? So you've <laughs> only heard very very little, so you don't. He know does or does not sound like he's 100%. doing Brad Dourif. He he kind of sounds like it. Yes. But Man. you haven't heard more than like a few. He's words. also a robot, and and wait for it, guys. That sounds really dumb. <laughs> I'm shocked. Like like Chucky was a possessed voodoo yes. doll. Do I feel like we needed a a child's play reboot? Absolutely not. What have I done? But I, I, I know done? what has he done. <laughs> but I respect Mark Hamill so much as an actor. Like I think he's a great actor. If anybody can do it, it's him. We'll see. So I think they knew that too. They mm-hmm. knew people were going to crap on this. And then when they found that it, out that it was Mark Hamill, who is one of the greatest voice actors on the planet, as well as an actor. Yeah, he's pretty good. I'm he's not sure good. if I put him up that high, but he's pretty good. He's I mean, good. he's Joker, I guess. But I mean, there's a lot of... Okay, cool. And he's ha- he has such an iconic voice. Yeah. He's done so many iconic roles. Mm-hmm. I think they knew people like me were going to be conflicted. Yeah. Um, but, you know, Brad Dourif is just amazing. No one's ever going to replace him. I don't understand why. There had like, to be He's something. not dead. Why did you I know. replace him? Maybe the- and he's still doing Chucky, so maybe there it's, was like a conflict of like interest. It's like the Evangelion thing. Like, why would you recast May- actors that are still alive and yeah. better suited for the role? Because it's their role. Because it is their role. Yeah. I, I really don't understand. I like how you like pulled the mic and like, let's have a little chat about some Chucky movies, yes, shall we? Yes, yes. yes. Welcome to, to Good Morning with Brittany and Matt, where we talk about yes. nothing but video Jeeves. Ga- or, sorry. Jeeves, where's my coffee? <laughs> Brittany Jeeves is dead. No. I've told you this. No. He was tripped by a stupid robot doll. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the new poster, though, which I thought was really funny? I don't think so. Um, it's... It's uh, Chucky's foot, yes. like he's walking away, and then you see uh, a hand and a cowboy hat. It's supposed to be Woody, uh-huh, which that's is fun. pretty funny. Okay. But anyway, off of Chucky. Yes. So, will so I see Sonic it anyway? Yes. Still looks humorous. I'm also trying it to does. figure out why he's in the real freaking world. Like, why not? Well, Detective Pikachu actually looks really good too. You know what? Surprisingly enough, the last trailer was the first one that made it not look awful. It looks. Funny. I saw that one with you when we saw Shazam. I'm like, you know, this doesn't look that. B-. This trailer, yeah. at least, doesn't. Look- I still hate Ryan Reynolds with every 
fiber of my being. You don't hate him. I hate him. But yeah, I think you're a little right tired now, of him. Right now I hate him because I'm so sick of him. I hate him. <laughs> and I half expected Sonic to be Ryan Reynolds and I would have torn my eyes out if it I was. I will go- <laughs> That would have been so Like funny. Like I would have just broken my computer and jumped out of a window screaming. I'll give you this though. I feel like Ryan Reynolds just plays Ryan Reynolds. He, like, he's like Keanu Reeves but he he's less endearing than Keanu Reeves. He, Keanu Reeves is so like, endearing. Keanu Reeves but plays he's Keanu. a good actor. People don't give him enough, enough credit. Well, he's a good actor at playing himself. N- negative. Positive. Unless you think John Wick is himself. Well, oh, oh, I thought we were talking about Ryan Reynolds. I'm Sorry. talking about Keanu. No. Well, Keanu does. He plays himself. What? Yes. Ke- John Wick is just like is just the brooding. I'm sad my girlfriend died. He's Keanu a badass uh, assassin. He really is. <laughs> Have you seen those I mean, training videos? I know that he he's can. He's really good. I know he can do that in real life, but no, he's a good actor, and he doesn't play himself. He really. God. He doesn't have Ryan a, Reynolds. Okay, however, you can be a good actor without having a lot of range. I feel like Keanu does like have Keanu range. Keanu Reeves plays nobody his gives roles him credit very well. Well, I mean, that what, angers when me. It, like he's been okay. He, I he loved was, him. He was, he was. He was. Was he Bill or was he Ted? He was Bill, right? Do you remember? I don't remember. Well, you, anyway, whatever. I've you seen know, this movie okay. so many times, and uh, yeah. I just don't. So he keep was that. Straight. He was okay. So that's him. He was Neo. So an older version of that same character. Negative. Whoa. <laughs> that is a huge <laughs> negative. Who else was he? Neo he is was, nothing was, like that character. He was just like he he was he was Bill without the without the the. The drugs. We'll just go ahead and I say I thought it. he did a fine job in Dracula. Everybody, shush, oh my god, shush your mouth. The only British accent worse than Dick Van Dyke and nope. Mary Poppins. It was that is so a huge negative. Ba- who who's worse? Name one worse British accent. It out there. wasn't bad. Name one that was worse. Okay, okay, I will. Anne Hathaway. Her accent is awful. In what? She made this comedy, and she's also there's another movie coming out where she plays like a. I don't know. It's supposed to be a comedy. I don't know if they're like spies Keanu or Reeves something. Was so bad. Her accent is terrible. He was, I'll have to hear it because Keanu Reeves sounded like a oh surfer dude playing a British guy. It was hilarious. His narration was like, "Oh no." She got. She did fine in um, Alice in Wonderland because she did have like a little bit of an accent there. Wait, but that whole movie was bad. So it kind of blended. Accent, no, that it was real mm-mm, bad. Mm-mm. It was one of Tim Burton. See, Gosh. another actor, another director, Richa. Tim Burton, just <laughs> off that there deep he's end. He's fantastic. And he does whatever he wants because he's wonderful. Yep, but mostly garbage. So it's okay. <laughs> I loved Miss Peregrine's Home for Killing Children. Man, that Children. movie was terrible. I know you hated that movie, but uh, I loved it. I don't care. Like I really, I really, don't care. Like what was the last Tim Burton movie I liked? I think it was Sweeney Todd. Uh, was there one after one. that I didn't hate? That's a good one. I don't think there was because after um, that it was that terrible Dark Shadows movie. Um, I thought Dark Shadows was, was fun, whew. and this is coming from someone who likes the original Dark Shadows. You don't. Yeah, but you like bright colors. I and don't Johnny understand. Depp. I don't. You're like pastels. Pastels are amazing. <laughs> okay, we stop. Just <laughs> stop. Okay, so done. Keanu has range. So podcast over. We're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just blitz through. So so a couple email replies from yes. the last show. So Dusty emailed us, um, yes. replying what games we wanted. So I noticed all of you cheated. You all cheated. Every single one of you. Except what? No, it's no. Why? Brett, didn't, Brett didn't cheat because the rules were cannot have sequel already. Okay. So Dusty. Goes, I want another Dragon Ball Tenkaichi three. You know what? <laughs> with some super gameplay. Uh, with yeah, which was which sounds like an amazing game because Tenkaichi three is still one of the best DBZ games ever. So we'd want he wants that gameplay with Dragon Ball Super. I'll take that. I'll take that. But you cheat it. <laughs> but also Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Snap, they do not have Pokemon Snap. Yeah, well, Pokemon Stadium there has there's there's two of those. Is there? Yes, on the sixty four, bro. We. And then Coliseum also on, right? the, on the GameCube. Not on the no, Wii. that's different. Yes, never um, mind. But but don't listen. To but me. Snap. I've said this before, yes. so I agree. The Wii U and especially the Switch. Especially. Where's my Snap game? <coughs> Pardon. Where is it? Like that would be perfect. You, you, you're hearing it with a camera on it. Sorry. Sorry, I'm just. <laughs> but. So, but definitely though, yes. Uh, Brett emailed us. Need emailed us a couple things, but specifically, I'm an idiot because Metal Arms. I feel like this is the second time <laughs> I forgot to mention Metal Arms because in the robot show, no one mentioned Metal Arms either, and we were like, uh, yeah. <laughs> but Metal <laughs> Arms, epic little game. 
we've talked about it before. Cute little robot needs mm-hmm. a sequel. Hell yes. Um, and I do have to say, because uh, the next one that you have on your list, Brett, is Brutal Legend, and I yeah. almost put that on my list because uh, Jack Such Black a is amazing. Weird so. game. And the game is so cool, mm-hmm. and it was actually a decent game. Yeah, it was like an RTS with like cars and all these rockers in it. Oh, it so was good. it was an interesting was breed yeah, for it was sure. So like that was a truly think, original game. Yeah, I think another one Which would do well right now. It didn't do very well, unfortunately, because no. people were like, oh, no, whoa. it did well. I did it okay. I it thought, did well. It was awesome. Though. I think I think a, a sequel would be really successful. I'll take it. And Jack Black is amazing. People love him. He's amazing. Mm-hmm. He's well, adorable. Glorious. Also, we had a uh, Mister. <laughs> I'm just. This is not his real name. A uh, fanboy solitude on YouTube. Um, one hundred percent agree. Panzer yes. Dragoon, more. Shining Force, more. Fantasy Star, yes, not online, but more. Although I would very happily take Fantasy Star online too, over here in this country, Sega. I'd um, play it because there's all these awesome crossovers we just never get because Japan and they hate me. Um, just me specifically, not you guys. Just me. It's my fault. They're like <laughs> that guy that likes Gundams and robots. Screw him. <laughs> no, <laughs> but definitely would have all those on there unfortunately never going to happen just because yeah sega and atlas and they're just not going to do things so that yeah because all of these games are dead you never know we, you're right we can hold out hope i mean i'd love because there was that weird panzer dragoonie game i think it was for 360 that never that wasn't mm-hmm. very good um we haven't seen shining force for god panzer knows Dragoon-y. how long <laughs> and fantasy star is officially it's like it's like like we're never going to see a warcraft a f- original warcraft game again we'll see like warcraft remastered but we're never gonna see warcraft 4 ever it's never gonna happen weep with me weep <laughs> <laughs> oh man you're too much but awesome i also have in here did i tell the toothpaste story yet because people did ask for I it i swear you told this story but fine also guys hear me out i swear he's lying he's not he is i i i he swear does this stuff to mess i with swear me. <laughs> right here upon this show for all of our 16 listeners um <laughs> if i am lying about the toothpaste story uh, may all my Gundam models burst into flames. No, no way, because you all know that will never happen. May my dendrobium <laughs> explode with a lightning bolt from Robot Jesus. You moved it from Robot Jesus. It's just, just, <laughs> or whatever Jesus you prefer. Um, Carry on. Carry on, So I was, I was over at Britt's place, <laughs> and I, I was picking up for something, and you you had to brush your teeth. Mm-hmm. So we were, I forgot what happened, but you like you were talking to me. I do that. I'm like a weirdo, and I carry like a... Uh, I'm going to say a to-go toothbrush like in my purse and stuff, but yeah. it's true. No, but you came out of the bathroom to talk to me and then you went Travel back into size. the bathroom and you were looking for the toothpaste mm-hmm. and you were going all over the place looking for the toothpaste and you left it outside of the bathroom. I did not. I, I She did. He's messing And she with walked me. right by it like a thousand I times. Swear. And I'm like, it's right there. You, you, like, you walked out and you, she walked out of the bathroom and just, did, and just set it down. And she swears okay. she didn't do this, which is why whenever Brittany does something dumb, I, sw- I call her toothpaste. <laughs> I swear I remember setting it down in the proper place. Which was I the moved- living room. No. <laughs> I moved around, and then magically, when I'm looking for it, I see it again. Because something happened. He's just messing with me. I know it. No, but it's true. I don't trust him. Because people do that. They just they, they click off sometimes. Yeah. You do it all the time. <laughs> I did it the other day. I was actually on the way back from Dallas um, for work, and I'll I, I will I will go ahead and tell a horrible story of my own um, <laughs> to balance things out. So I was driving back from Dallas, and I stopped at a gas station to thought he you know, saw a horse. It wasn't there. I'm not telling that story. Get- <laughs> That's the story. Okay, if you want to hear the horse story. Oh no, that was that was not Dallas. No, it was I Dallas. Was not that with that you. no that that was Washington. <laughs> um, if you want to hear the horse story, the comments. <laughs> write us an email it's only fair it's really bad next time you get the horse but if story. you yeah if you want if you want to know it let us know um it has nothing to do with video games at all i've been on the way back from austin too okay well this this specifically that one was worse you. whatever okay. hate you um so i was getting gas at mm-hmm. a gas station as most gas gas station going folks do really you can get gas at a gas station from what i understand ah. yes it is catching on <laughs> um <laughs> And I'm there, and I'm just, I'm tired. It's been a long day. I'd driven to Dallas. I'd done store stuff, and then I was on the way home. Mm-hmm. So I'm just burned out, just like, Bleh. Um <laughs> And I grab, you know, I had like a water bottle and a bag of chips. So I was going to throw them away. So I grab it. And you know when you get out of, the, <laughs> get out of your car, you have, you, you got to grab the keys, and you open the gas thing, and you grab the trash, and your brain's elsewhere because you're Matt and you're an idiot. 
<laughs> so I got out and I went around and I just and I threw the trash, you know, the, the empty water bottle and empty bag of chips into the trash. And it made was a resounding clink sound. <laughs> and I stopped and I reached into my pocket and oh, felt no. no keys and said a lot of things I can't repeat on this show. <laughs> and I walked over to the van and looked in and the keys weren't on the chair and they aren't in the ignition. And I said a lot more inappropriate things I can't say on this show. <laughs> and I walked over and leaned in the trash can and just barely like hidden in a pile of like what I hoped to sweet baby Jesus was milkshake. <laughs> Were the keys Ew. to the work van. And so all of the rude. Game Over video game stores that I happen to be in charge no! of. <laughs> I w- so, I'm so sorry, but I wish I would have been there to see that. This busy gas station. <laughs> you just see me leaning over into a trash can. Oh, <laughs> just doing this stuff. Just Oh, my God. Man, it did not smell good. I bet it didn't. So I, then I grabbed my keys and held them out before me like a, <laughs> like a radioactive thing and like, and like very quickly trying to look uh, inconspicuous holding out my dripping keys. Ew. Yeah. Just kind of walked into this gas station. Hi, hi, how you doing? And then just walked into the gas station or in the bathroom. Hi, how you doing? And just threw my keys in the sink. And it was like, soap, hot water. Oh, God. <laughs> and just, just, just sterilize the crap out of everything from the elbow down. Oh no! And then I just kind of like, you know, dusted myself off, took my keys that were, you know, now dry. And after I'd washed them like four or five times yeah. with like all of the soap from the soap dispenser and just <laughs> everything, it was. I'm, I'm amazed that they're still the beepy thing still works. Um, <laughs> put them back in my pocket. And just put my hands behind my back and walked outside like a dignified gentleman and noticed people were looking at me kind of funny. <laughs> and then I still had to go and get gas oh, <laughs> and man. stand there in front of people who were just like, that man in the video game van was running around in the trash. Don't look at him. <laughs> so there. Oh, man. There you go. That's you're, a good one. You're welcome. I have to admit, that's a good one. Yeah, that was, man, that was bad. I'm like, man, this is like a movie stupid right here. This oh, is terrible. No. Thankfully, it wasn't my phone also. I oh, just my God. Cried. That would be awful. Thankfully, my phone is waterproof, so I would have just like thrown it into a lake. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's it. So we will get to, because we're not going to take a break here, So because we're already, oh, my God. this It's as long as it always is, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> we failed. This is it, though. Yes, this is it. Um, we're going to get to our, our question of the show. Yes. And I'm not going to answer it. You're not going to answer what? it either. We'll answer it next what? time. Okay. Because okay. we've been here forever and I'm hungry. Yeah. Question of the show. <laughs> also, not about video games. Sorry, David. Um, super Sorry. Superhero movies. David's going to fire okay? us. Just because Avengers Endgame just came out. Thank God it's over. Um, <laughs> what do you think of superhero, superhero films? Mm-hmm. Are there too many? Do you want more? You ready for another hour? Yeah, not that's why that's why we're not answering <laughs> <I know. laughs> it on this episode. Um, you know what what kind would you like? Also, beg your pardon, sorry. Um, what's to tie it back into games? What game has there not been mm-hmm. that you want to see? Oh, superhero related, yes, and it can be a good one. Like so, so as an example, I would say I want a good Green Lantern game because last one was just yeah. okay. Um, but like that. So think it over, mold over, let mm-hmm. us know. Um, do I? Can I answer that now? No. Okay. No, it has to wait until next <laughs> okay. episode. It will hold okay. us to it. But you know, as always, you know, if you have an answer to that question, or you want to, you know, make Brit feel better about it, the the holes Please. that are going to be in the back of her mouth. Ah! Or, do you have to say that? Or if you want to hear the uh, ah. the horse story, you know, I've always wanted to go to a dentist and have him just have a rack of rusty okay. tools. With a sign that says, these are for the angry patients. Oh my God, I just, I'm going to jump great? off a bridge. You're not going to see me next episode. There's going to be like a teddy bear with a V fin on it. Like, <laughs> this is now my new co-host. Because Brittany jumped off a bridge. She's yes. somewhere, you know, in the, in the I'm bay. I'm swimming <laughs> she's, with the mermaids. She's, she's just out in Galveston, just swimming away. <laughs> anyway, as always, let us know. You can uh, send us an email at podcast at gameofvideogames.com. Mm-hmm. That is podcast at gameovervideogames.com. That's right. Or, you know, leave a like, subscribe, comment. Uh, let us know how we're doing on YouTube. There is a guy, by the way, uh-huh. I'm going to talk about this. I don't know who you are, and I love you. <laughs> Every time a video comes out, mm-hmm. like 10 minutes later, he's like, thumbs down. Oh, yeah. 
I don't know what I did to make you so angry. But you know what? We love you. We love you anyway. Yep. I love you anyways. Because it's like just someone with such icor. It's not you. It's got to be me. Because I piss people off. (laughs) You're just too nice to make people mad. I I make people mad. So I don't know what I did. But if it's probably like the guy who's like, you know, it it wasn't Zach. Because I was commenting on how we wanted to talk about the weather. I don't think it was Zach. Zach wouldn't do that. But is it you, Zach? Is it you, Zach? Is it you, Zach? You're a monster. Like, I don't know who you are, but you just keep on being you, huh? <laughs> thanks. If anything, thanks for clicking on the video, I guess. <laughs> That's the crazy thing is like that person definitely has to, and it's fine. You know, it's Like okay. he's subscribed to We're the not, channel. Yeah, you have to be subscribed, <laughs> but, which is so funny to me, but it's okay. I mean, I, I don't mind, you know? Like, and you might, if you're doing fine. it just to balance it out, there aren't that many thumbs up, so That's I think you true. can lay off. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, just punch no, the mic. <laughs> it's fine. I really do. Any of any and all of you that listen to, we appreciate you. And yes, you're awesome. very much so. Thank Even you. if you don't like it, I get it. I don't like me either. Even if you don't agree with us, it's okay. Yep. Thank you for listening anyway. Yep. They're like, hey man, I think Sonic looked <laughs> awesome. Thank you for always agreeing with me. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> I'm kidding. Whatever. That's cool. <laughs> I'm joking. Just don't disagree with the robots thing. Like, I, I'm cool <laughs> with all of you until you say robots are dumb, and then I'll just headbutt you. Oh my God. Just just politely, I'll walk up to you and shake your hand, give you a lollipop, and be like, pow! Man, I was going to say something, but I forgot because I'm tired. Yeah, and? What else is new? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to get out of here. Oh, huh. yes, We're not going to get I, see, I. I'm so she sorry. She had to interrupt me. That reminded that me. Okay, <laughs> so on Instagram, we're doing this new thing. With That's the, right. The, we're going to post more of that. Yes, we do. With But... This is what I was going to say. Um, we're doing this thing called Question for a Cookie, mm. where Matt and I, whenever we're randomly together, we're just like, hey, Question for a Cookie, like randomly. And we don't know what we're going to ask it's each hilarious. other. Like and we just ask each baggie. other, yeah, <laughs> random questions. And then if you get the answer right or, or we like your answer, you get a cookie. Mm. So, uh, yeah, um, the past couple of posts haven't been working. We've tried to repost what the same. And it keeps like breaking it won't work yeah we've tried to repost the same video like, like the six alien times. picture work work yeah. by the way if you don't follow us on social media facebook and uh, i'm not gonna have a commercial here because there's nothing but yeah we're on yeah. social media facebook and instagram instagram uh-huh. please get, uh instagram is what it's just at game over at games. game over and then no. facebook is or, or no game Overcast. Game, Sorry, game overcast game Overcast. at game Overcast. and then the uh in, facebook is just game overcast usa because there's a british yes. game overcast oh wow interesting I, I don't know or australian or but new zealand or, yeah so some, we're getting on country. that. Also, if you want to do your own, and we decided that we were going to start like featuring them on the yeah, page. You can either hashtag it. Just make sure it's family friendly if you yes, would be so please. kind. Because if anything, we can also, if you'd like, if you do it, we can put it on. I'll throw it in the show. <gasps> yes, that would be so cool. Yeah. So hashtag question for a cookie on Instagram. Yeah. I'm trying to get David to do it. But yes. Um, yes. Come on, David. Do it. Just, you know, just ask someone. All the cool yeah. kids are doing. No, I'm kidding. Really? Where? <laughs> We, we, I was talking to David about something, and he was mentioning how he was having me do something because it idiot-proofed stuff. And I'm like, you realize they're giving him to me, yeah? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like oh, just, just to make sure here. Like, I'm going to make it worse. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, we, uh, I suppose we get out of here. Thank yes. you for that because I forgot to mention yes. that. But yeah, as always, I'm Matt. I'm Britt. Thanks, and guys. And I have keys in my back pocket. <laughs> we love you. The love. We this love is not a heart. You. These are binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> Lungs. You tried. <laughs> you tried Hang on. So, hard. so there. Yes. There you go. And on that hearty notice, um, heart good. Good God. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks. We'll see you next time on Game Overcast. Ta ta. James.